hello, everyone. Hi. Says. You can see our beautiful hello. faces. Mm -hmm. All except Frost's beautiful face. Which is replaced by a dragon lord. But uh, we currently have our promo code uh, imposed over where Frost would be. So it's fine. As it should be. As all things should be. We don't have to. We don't have the time to go into all that. <laughs> um, Look, I'm a whore for coffee. All right, that's what I'm implying. Oh, okay, okay. Just put Good. the coffee Ooh. all over me. Why do I want all of them? All of the that's coffee. Me. But yeah, uh, our sponsor today is Grinding Coffee Co. Uh, as they are every week, uh, they have been fabulous sponsors, and you can use our code Party Wipe Games for a ten percent discount. Drink their coffee; it's good. All right, Felix, you have any announcements for us? Uh, not that I am aware of. There's no um, no announcements. I guess on on Mondays, if you're not watching these beautiful people, come watch some other beautiful people on Friends Wilner's Den. We're ending Morris, which was the flagship uh, campaign and show uh, Flinders Den. We're ending that within the next couple sessions, actually. Um, we're going to fight an elemental demigod or full god. We're not quite sure. Um, that's going to be fun. Cool, so I can steal you and Dido for more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. Frost, Shay, how you guys doing today? Hello. I am Shay. I am doing well. And I'm playing Tonshir today. That's true. That is true. <laughs> it's very accurate. Yeah. It is quite accurate. We, Fair and accurate. The the, mm -hmm. the peace loving elf that will watch the world burn. Yeah. Because she can't lift a finger to do anything about it. It's fine. I mean, she can't. She, she chooses. I will. To. I will. I will destroy the world for peace. She's she's literally the, this is fine dog just sitting there <laughs> like there, eh. there can't be war if everyone's dead. Exactly. Great notice roll there. Mm -hmm. uh, and Frost, how are you doing? Uh, the frosty, I guess it's a pretty good frosty. way. To... Hey, frosty, beautiful. And our fearless leader, but not right now, because I took the throne, Rin. Hello, I'm Rin of Party Life Games. I'm playing Sayla Phil Goldley, who I guess is the leader of this group. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, technically. She works at the official officer capacity, so it probably defaulted to her. Mm hmm. Yep. Cool. Beautiful. She leads, the, she leads the murder. It's fine. It's fine, yeah. We feel a little low energy tonight, uh, which is fine. Um, I, woke up, definitely... I woke up not too long ago, so it's. For sure. I'm, I'm, I'm actually more awake than I normally am, if that oh, helps. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> because I wasn't up at 6 a.m. on my. You know what it equates to my Saturday. Instead, I woke up at work time and did work and then went to sleep. Oh, that's and I fun. I had a long day. <laughs> so I Jay helped is more out of it than normal. Yeah, yeah I can tell. We, we traded. No, we traded fine. spots. <laughs> it's, it's it's I mean you know. You yeah, I got I I helped clean a yard today a little bit. So. Yard. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, we're win winterizing. Um. Mm, gotta yeah, that's gotta, important up there. Yep, got to empty out those, those hoses so they don't burst. Um, I, to be fair, I got to figure out how to do all of that too because we technically now have to take care of stuff like a oh like yeah. a spigot that got installed uh, on our patio. So I have to figure out how to yeah figure out how to winterize stuff too. Turn off the water um, inside to the outside spigot. Turn on that spigot and we'll drain the water, uh, and your pipes won't burst. I, I would not be surprised if we have to deal with something winter related <laughs> this this winter too. That uh, happens when you live above the snow line and own a property. Well, it's it's just this house. It, if it can yeah. break, it will. As it always does. Anyways, um, now uh, a bit of a recap. Last session, uh, last couple of sessions, the the resistance have learned of a coming. Thing, uh, a bunch of uh, what are known as the Volk, a group of uh, elite um, Blitzkrieg soldiers, were were marching um, up from the Underdark to go to um, Serest, the uh, 
the former uh, former capital of the Kingdom of Austral. Um, and we're not quite sure what's going on, um, but they also got information of a weapon development um, weapons development laboratory. That's the word I'm looking for for three weeks. Laboratory. Um, and um, drove up to see what, what it's about as in a couple weeks until the Volk get there and whatever else will happen is going to happen. Uh, along with the Commonwealth spy Oliver. Um, and yeah, you you headed up. You did a little bit of recon. Tan um, traded a few favors for some medicine and a present for Galniza, a tentative friend maybe a little bit more um, uh, member of the Daughters of Loth, essentially the S, essentially the Gestapo. Um, and um, and they started to make a plan to um, I believe storm the, uh, the garrison here in this little trade depot, take their weapons and then attack the uh, laboratory or have Oliver attack the laboratory where you all sneak in. I believe that's what that's what your plan was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, we're going uh, to raid this local garrison for the any weapons we can get, and then while he's distracting them on one side, we go into the back end, close to the the place. I forget. Absolutely. Where were we, where were we at on on uh, experience? Um, we're, 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 yeah, we're rank, we're rank four and four experience into five. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Excellent. Rank four, almost rank five. Um, so yeah, you guys, last time you guys left off, you guys slept. Um, Salafil and Gregory can remove the distracted, um, condition from there. That was hurting. It was. You guys were, you guys were very tired. <laughs> He says while yawning. I can be tired too. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Anyways, Anyways. Um, you guys had the had essentially the a long rest to steal up parlance from Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and woke up the next morning. Um, and uh, I believe you guys slept in your truck. Um. And what is the plan? Uh, what is what is the first thing you guys do in the morning to prepare for the um, the attack on the garrison? We were going to abuse the fact that uh, that what's his name killed two guards off in the woods to try and lure more guards out into the woods to kill them that, too. That is act. That is true. Um, yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of men here. It's probably around to ten, uh, eight now that um, two of them who were have been were killed in the woods. Um, so honestly, a couple more, and you guys out, you guys will match the numbers. Honestly, like when you kill five of them, which you guys could probably do, and then we still have all this dynamite, friends. <laughs> you do have still have some some dynamite. You don't have a whole lot. You have I'll I'll say give you a number. You have I'll say five sticks. I think that was what she said last time too, so it seems accurate. Sure. Yeah. yeah, not not a whole lot. You have a couple. Gregory, um, keep inventory. Five sticks of dynamite. Five sticks of dynamite. So when when you dramatically mm-hmm. self sacrifice yourself in the final conflict, you can detonate all of the dynamite at once and kill a number of the Hulk. Yeah, seems massively impractical and also very suicidal. I I do not like this. <laughs> that doesn't sound like proper Soviet ideals. Yeah. <laughs> I can get a sacrifice yourself for the state. Um, sure. Um, so, sure. So what is sure, what the is state of solid? As in, I want to remain the whole. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. good. Um, uh, so yeah, what, what is what are all your characters doing? Uh, Gregory's probably making sure all the weapons are okay, so that if we need to use them. Getting rid of these guards that you know, no misfire and stuff like that. Well, sure um, thing, yeah. You check your weapons. Check the weapons. Um, God, I feel bad because I forgot his name again. It was Oliver. Oliver, thank you. I wanted to. Uh, I almost said Greg, and I was like, no, Gregory's right there. Um, Oliver. Um, 
Oliver definitely murdered people, so he can't go back into town or anything. Um, we slept in the truck, but where did we? Where is the truck in in relation to this facility and the town? Somewhere. Um, when it get get or, poked at. Well, I mean, like, how how close are we to one or the other? Uh, that's up to you. Um, it's your truck. You you could park just... it off in the park it further away. You could park it like sort of on the way to the facility. It's up it's up to you guys. Do we want to be just off in the outskirts of town then? Yeah, it'd probably be good that way. No one would want to like. They're, they're like, look, they're already short staffed as it is here. None of them really care. They don't want to wander all the way out to town, the like the very edge to go inspect the truck. They're like, whatever, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Um, well, Saleville will offer to go into town and get some, you know, practical supplies, stuff to eat, things like that, since we're, you know, kind of staking this out for a little while longer and doing all that. So she'll go into town, act casual, get a, get a lay of what the vibe in town is as well. Do some, do some civvy reconnaissance, as it were. Sure, roll a notice. Um, and then, then just sort of keep that number off the side, and uh, and then uh, Shay, what are you doing? Um, probably taking stock of everything we have on hand. Um, uh, making sure there are masks ready to go. And, um, hmm. I, I, I think just, just, just doing prep work. Sure. Um, yeah, you you help Gregory prep some stuff. Okay, uh, with a success, um, Salafil, as you okay. apparently I'm yawning today. Um, Salafil, you head into town and begin to look around and ask around. Um, uh, you do notice the the guards here aren't that good at their job. Mm -hmm. um, they're sort of just hanging out. Um, they're put in the middle of nowhere. I kind of, you know, again, like last, like I said last time, on purpose. Um, they seem to be a little more alert. Um, the the guards seem to be sort of like paying more attention. They kind of have their guns at the ready most of the time. They're not usually, even even if in uh, Sarest, like the the guards, the soldiers you saw the patrolling would usually keep their their guns um, slung over the shoulders. Um, and these guys are carrying them, like in their hands. Uh, um, they seem a little nervous, and you, and you assume probably it's because a bunch of their, you know, couple um, guys turned up dead. Couple guys turned missing. They don't know where they are. Oh, missing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so they're like, "Oh shit!" Um, so they're they're sort of um, paying closer attention right now. That, that's what you get. Um, I'll go to the local bakery or something, uh, pick mm -hmm. up some some basic supplies, and um, just kind of ask around about how how things are going this morning. You know that that very oh I'm a tourist and it's really strange seeing them on high alert like this. What happened? Sure. Um, this this town doesn't really have like again it's it's less of a of an actual town and more of just like um just like homes for people who are working mm. working at at like the this train depot um well, there's no bakery but there is like a store you can go to that general you can buy store, like yeah general, general store. store you can buy like it's is essentially hard tack um if you want some some breads um there's not a whole lot of a lot of fresh food a lot of canned stuff as well okay. um i'll take some spam and hard tack Absolutely. Roll a persuasion check so you can get someone to talk to you. Nine. Not ooh, a nine? Fuck. 
Oh, you have a plus two. Your goddamn persuasion, because you're fucking. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, sure. You've been to talk to one of the uh, one of the clerks there. Um, and he says, apparently some uh, soldiers um disappeared last night. Um, this, you know, uh, lots of them that do not return to the garrison uh, at the end of the uh, end of the night, but they usually find them usually passed out in the warehouse or you know, somewhere around, uh, but they can't find them, uh, so they're a little uh, nervous. Oh, that's very unfortunate. And I hope they do turn up well. We wouldn't want anything to be happening to those who are here to keep us safe. It says, kind of looks at you for a second, and it says, like, yeah, yes, um, I hope so. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I want to gauge that reaction from him. I want to see. Roll notice. Yeah, uh, how well he took that because while I'm playing an act, I want to see, you know, if he keeps that close to the chest. Um, I'll spend a minute to reroll that. I kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of want to get. I want to get a feel of how the town is. Four. Sure. Four. Four. Okay. <laughs> um, you get the sense that um. It's kind of a mixed bag because, like, S Sarest, like, the soldiers there are more professional, um, or tend to be more professional. It's sort of a more important place. Um, and they're also under the watch of their commanders. But again, they are there to occupy a, 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 a city. So, um, well, well, there's less, there's less, like, sort of the soldiers kind of running wild. Um, they still have to, like, you know, barge into homes and arrest people. And that doesn't happen here. Like, the soldiers here aren't, like, arresting political dissidents or um, or, or capturing people of interest to, to the government. But they have no one to watch them. And they are the rejects. So there's probably more abuses, but less, like, systematic abuses. Um... They're, so see, they're, these they're people the, here, they're the soldier rejects, and they know they can get away with stuff, but they're not doing. It yeah, they can the get they can get away with a little, a little bit more. Um, so so like like the people here don't feel oppressed like the same way you would insert. So they, they don't like them, but um, sort of like if they kind of go along with the soldiers, um, they they will just like the soldiers won't beat. They don't them rock up. the boat. They won't have any problems. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's, it's kind of similar, but in, in sort of a less. Like, in Ceres, it's like, if I do something wrong, you know, a bunch of soldiers are going to come and black bag me. If you do something wrong here, a bunch of soldiers are going to come and beat you with sticks for, for an hour and then leave you alone. Like, it's a, a two different types of fear. Yeah. Yeah. And so he, he seems to be feeling like it's a, I have to stay in line sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you just said, like, oh, like, keep it safe. He's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, just like, I'm not gonna say anything bad about the soldiers. Yeah, he, he's not gonna okay. say like that was the reaction I was looking for. So she's just gonna yeah. she's just gonna nod, um, and kind of take her supplies and just say, "Well, be well and, and keep your nose clean, as it were." With that four, he absolutely thinks you're an agent of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say that he's just like, "Oh." I hope I passed. Yeah, and and that's kind of what I want. I don't want there to be any suspicion on the the randos who just rolled into town. <laughs> it's like sure it's thing. like it's like if this guy isn't like yeah, some rando came in and bought a bunch of supplies and then immediately left town. It's weird. So yeah, yeah. As long as he as long as he thinks that I was there, and now he's just like, oh fuck, that was close. <laughs> I'm not dead. Thank goodness. <laughs> yet, not yet. All right, cool. That's that's all I need. I'm gonna head back. Yeah, you buy some food. Um, again, it's just like some like um really essentially hard tack. Slightly better, you know. The technology has evolved a little bit. Um, and like um, like probably some instant coffee and uh some cans of beans and spam, you know. Beans. Yeah. Beans. Um. So yeah, you you get back to your truck, which is a little, I'll say it's, a, it's kind of out it's, uh, outskirts of the city, sort of behind. Like you're you're in like a forested part of the country, um, and so you're able to find like a place that's off off. Like you can like, pull off the side of the road, a little clearing kind of thing, um, and make it sort of a makeshift camp. And Oliver's there has started a fire, um, 
and is sort of just like kind of like poking at it and tending to it as um, Tan and Grigori um, get everything ready. Uh, yeah, and you see, you see, uh, Zalithil return with spam. And heart attack. And coffee. Oh boy, the good stuff. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Listen, have you seen a meat ration in, in weeks? It's, it's incredible what they have out here. A lot of things go missing uh, along the way. Um, you'd be surprised. Definitely seems like. So how is the uh, situation in city? They are on alert. Two of their soldiers have gone missing. And she'll kind of turn her glance <laughs> towards Ollie and just be like, so uh, we might be uh, having to deal with just a little bit more, but I figured we could set up uh, we are good at making distractions. Maybe we could set up a distraction that would send any of the garrison here uh, in the opposite direction of the facility. Even if they are busy taking care of something else, it would take them longer to get to the facility, affording us more time to act. I mean, that that is a good plan. I, though I thought we were going to... Uh booby trap bodies and get more guards killed out in the woods oh yes that could be our distraction if they all go to see what happened to these soldiers they'd end up looking all in woods around the area not up near facility mm-hmm. might I suggest just because the wicked thought came to me now we should leave them in a promiscuous position so that when the soldiers arrive they will think that they were two lovers who died in each other's arms. And then, boom. <laughs> One more blow to their evil fascist ideals. These it's also very, it's also very poetic. Yes, yes, I like it. Very poetic and also in their face. I like it. <laughs> in their faces. Um, Oliver speaks up and says, You know, I've never really understood that kind of thing. Like, oh, here's a message. You die now. Like, they're dead. It's fine. It's whatever. Mm-hmm. It's, for it's them, pretty it's weird. For them to take with them to the night hells. I mean, sure, but like, eh, whatever. People, different strokes for different folks. As he pokes at the fire. <laughs> it's good because this improvised grenade uh, Logdon gave us would probably work very well as uh, you sandwiched between them, easy pin pull, probably hair trigger, so we definitely do not want to be near it. Smart. I like it. Because, of course, they'll pull body apart to try to separate, make sure no civilian sees or high up, and then boom! Rig, rig it so that the, the pin is on one body and the grenade is on the other, and when they go to separate <laughs> them. Yes, exactly. They have to be able to connect it at the groin. Looks <laughs> <laughs> well, very oh, good. Puts his hands up like, sure. If you want to <laughs> rip a man, a dead man's testicles apart, I won't stop you. I mean, to be fair, will he be complaining? You don't have to rip them apart. You just have to artfully conceal it. You just. I meant like the after the explosion. That's going to be a mess of testicle. Oh, oh yes. that, that is not our priority to clean up. It's um, going to be a mess of everything. Regardless. True. Uh, there I will be seems... testicles everywhere when he explodes, regardless of what happened. A you perfect hiding spot for grenade, too, where the testicles would be. They'll just think he's man, and then they pull apart, and then lots of man everywhere. It will be raining men. Yes. They might. The, the citizens even, will be shouting hallelujah. Place, you could even place two of the grenades where his testicles should be, and they would be like, damn, that drow, he is so endowed, he died the way he lived, and then, poof, busted a nut. Okay, starting to we... think this is less about explosive and more about balls. And yeah, I do this, not... this feels more and more yeah, like too, you want to mutilate a corpse. Too and... much? Too much? Okay. 
So a why little, don't, why don't, I mean, we, why don't not, we just go with the original plan of making them think that they were lovers and then they explode? You know what? I've come around on that idea. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. You see how, see how my original idea was a good one? Because when we all start sharing other ideas, we realize that they may not be so good. Yeah, Sano, no, Sano no. Bill is expert haggler. You start really high, and then <laughs> after your first initial, you would, you would go low, then go really high, and then they go, shit, that low offer sounds really good. <laughs> and... Low offer sounds so much better now okay. in hindsight. Yeah, all right, <laughs> let's just go pretend that two men I murdered yesterday were gay lovers, and we're going to blow them up um, and make their friends ashamed of them in the afterlife. You did murder them, so I don't think you have any grounds for criticizing our I, plan. I, I wasn't planning on cutting their balls off and replacing them with grenades. Yes, but see, that was the high, over-exaggerated mm. idea that I knew you would not have any interest in. And it um, looked like charm. plan worked. How about you crack open that spam? Yeah, I crack open the spam. Beautiful. You crack open the spam. Um, Oliver kind of thinks like I did have sex with her and I don't know if, what that says about me um it means you have great taste and uh, just like guys, spam delicious <laughs> just like spam yum yep I'm gonna I'm gonna slice them thin and fry them yes okay yeah you, you, you slice uh the spam it's and it's you know it's it's fucking spam I don't really want me to say it tastes like spam um, there are also beans, um, and some cheap instant coffee. Comes a little tin. Um, it's a picture of a drow on it. It's like this. It's a. It's a. It's a drow company. Um, and you what have are the some. Odds that this is made from actually cobalt. Uh, I mean, anybody I want my cup? I do not want to drink anymore. <laughs> I don't think I'm cobalt is half the maybe. Oh, also, <laughs> do. do... Please do not ruin spam for me. We all know it comes from gnomes. Okay, this is this is fact. We know this. For yeah, you don't you don't ask where the spam comes from. You just eat the spam. So is, exactly. it, is it actually called? I'm trying to make gnome fit into spam. <laughs> Spiced human ass meat. That's what this stands for. We, I, I hate to be better or bad news. I don't know where the H came in. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not human, so that doesn't bother me as much. Spiced, spiced person? Spiced, spiced ham. Spiced person. Spiced person, spam. Anyways. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the tin is not actually spam. Uh, it's, it's, it's It says uh, imitation luncheon meat. That's what it says. It's, it's um, just called gnome. <laughs> it's just called gnome fixins. Um... um but yeah, no, it's 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 just uh, it says, yeah, it says imitation luncheon meat, um, and you 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 consume it. It again, it tastes like it's spam. Um, you have a you have a greasy breakfast uh, to start off your day of murder. Um, also, spam is an imitation; it's actually ham. Cool. This is World War Two. I don't know what <laughs> they that... actually packed ham. Yeah, no, that was that that was when they actually. That's ate that's it. why I was gonna say that's why spam was was created because of food shortages. Because all the food was going to the soldiers, so like we need easier to make meat. So it's just like ground up ham and other stuff for filling. You know, the the next time that Rin I uh, play a game that Rin runs, I'm gonna nitpick little parts of his world <laughs> building, just small parts. Are you just saying just that, that didn't happen part. during Flood at all? Never. <laughs> oh, I'm place. I'm saying I'm doing it on purpose now. Yeah, it's, no, it, I, it's, like, it's like, mean like it's this it's, time. Al it's almost like I hadn't planned this because of how Flood went. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. No, I am. I am now planning. This, I, I will be mean about it. Is what I'm saying. Mm. I want you to know that when I do it, it's because I'm cruel. <laughs> I am anyway, cruel God. <laughs> uh, you have your greasy breakfast um, and get ready to go uh, commit several crimes. Um, you go but to the bodies. Passion. Um, you see that uh, Oliver did kind of very sort of like. He did. He did. Kept burying them in leaves, and he did put a rock near their heads because he's like, eh, "It's they're assholes, but they're still people." Um, and you could dig up their bodies. They are rigor mortis to fuck. Um, and they have not. Uh, actually, let's see if they've been eaten at all by any sort of wild animal. Well, it's a good thing they're rigor mortis to fuck. 
<laughs> if they weren't too rigor mortis to fuck, it would be really hard to make it look like they were fucking. I see what you did there. Yeah. Do does the dick get hard in rigor mortis? Or does it just get stiff in like a flaccid way? I'm I'm sure all we need to do is make it look believable. Okay. They're not, um, they're not gonna have enough time to go. Wait a minute. His dick yeah, is not fully dick. inserted into this asshole. <laughs> there are no visible signs of penetration. Everything <laughs> a okay. <laughs> There's no penetration. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gay. <laughs> um. Yep, it does. Yep, it's called a it's called death erection, angel lust, or terminal terminal erection. Angel lust. Uh <laughs> You gotta love weird old timey medical terms. And they're just they're just like, Welcome to heaven. And you're like, Oh. Oh, dude. that's a hot angel with so Be many not eyes. Around. And... Who's not <laughs> Too just late. Welcome, just welcome to heaven. Alright, down you go. See you later. Look out, come on. Just go, ugh. send them down. I can't help it. I'm in the eyes. How I'm dare you send me the wheel I'm in, with 700 I'm into, of I'm into them. concentric rings that are sentient and want to kill me. <laughs> um, anyways. Um, fucking angel lust. Uh, anyways, you find the bodies. Um, you... What do you... What exact... How, how... To what extent do you degrade these corpses? We strip them naked. Oh God, um, so far. so here, here's what we here's what we have to do here to make this seem look convincing. Yeah. Okay? Their throats have been slashed, like they're very clearly like. Okay, um, we're yeah. gonna take some. We're gonna take some black cloth and we're gonna wrap sure. it around the necks so that it's not immediately visible because you know, or sure. or, or whatever uh, skin tone. Yeah, you, you can you can I'm clean doctor, like you, you can clean the neck off. Um, oh, that's and, true. And like, there's not there's not more blood coming out. So like, if it, like it, you have to be, come up and like, oh, the throat's been cut. But yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, Tom can can prepare uh, the corpses to look a little more presentable. Tom's um, like ah, third time this week. Mm-hmm. Listen, I was just gonna say, hey, use some of that blood bending we don't know about and just move the rigor mortis around so that they're more malleable. But we don't know about that. You we don't know also, about that. Oh, we got blood, blood boning. The blood, blood boning. boning. Hell yeah. Um, I'm so disappointed in all of you. Um, <laughs> you strip them naked and you put them in each other's arm. Do you? Do you oh, make one are, of them? They are in a full embrace. Okay. Do you attempt to to at least make it look like there's there is active penetration? Yes. Um, so what this is what this is going to be is is they are going to be doing it in uh, so we're gonna lay out like what looks like a picnic scene and just like just like every good ruse they're gonna look like mm-hmm. they were uh, drunk and fell asleep which is you know why you know they're out here to be discovered right. um, so we're going we're going to douse the area in alcohol so it stinks of, of them getting drunk and having sex and they All are right. going to be in in a a romantic face to face likely they were snogging while while also having sex you know it looks very romantic um, and so the point is we have to sell this this ruse so uh, tucked between them where they're connected at the hips are are, are the the pull string and the and the grenade pin or sure. so that when when they go to remove their shame uh, it, it just blows up and kills everyone. You know, we've done a lot of fucked up things in this campaign. Listen, you, this once is you, up once, you, once you murder an old lady, it's all downhill from here. I mean, <laughs> you just stabbed a woman, you didn't set... Never mind, it's fine. It's fine. Um, we, went, we went right up to her in her home, in her bed, and did the deed. Yeah, it's not as... It's This is it's so much. <laughs> it's so much worse. I need uh, let's see. Um, let's open up some some character sheets and look what your skills are. So you can sometimes have an appropriate. Um, <laughs> healing what's appropriate stuff. for desecrating bodies? <laughs> well, it, it's like for it's it's not that. It's setting up. Um, uh, one of you, yeah. Uh, I will say because we've used this before to set up to make explosive. Do a repair Wait. check. Sort of general like tech. Repair what can you? What can you? Battle. A repair. A repair check to see if you can rig 
a um, you can physically rig a trap like this. Gregory, what's your repair at? Non-existent. I shoot things. I don't. Okay. I don't blow them up. I'll do I, don't, it. I got a D6. I if I die, I blame I blame our dwarf that didn't show up. Let's see, I have dwarf for that dude. Nine. Yeah, you make an excellent trap. It is hidden. Um, you're confident that if they pull the pull them apart, that it it will explode. Um, Wait, how many? Di- we have we have we have five dynamites. Yes, you have five and dynamites. And one improvised have one improvised grenade. Okay, so the improvised grenade is going to be the the main explosive. But yes. To really sell this penetration, I am not going to use his dick, but I am going to use one of the sticks of dynamite to make it look like it's a dick causing penetration. Okay. No, I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. We don't need okay. to do that. Okay. 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 <laughs> I was about I was about to put this above the murder of the old lady. I would I would uh, I can make a suggestion if you have enough mind, you could just spread some of the dynamites around around so that when that's triggered. It, triggers the dynamite in a further out area that might hit them. How much dynamite can we effectively spare, Gregory, um, for what we need? Well, we have five sticks. Uh, for giving one uh, to I'll, Oliver for distraction. I would, I yeah, I would like some to, to, to explode. Okay, so we will give you two. That would leave us I with can, three. I can work with that. If we put one, because hmm. uh, the wall, the building looked pretty sturdy. I'd say we would need at least two to blow big enough hole in if we're going to just blow our way into facility. Okay, so no TND. If we are just blowing door open, we would only need one. Put it right at the hinge, door pops off. An option. Remember, it's very loud. Yeah, it's a, it is an explosive. Uh, so if we make too much noise down here, uh, they might notice up there. As well, it were. down here is is meant to draw the uh, the people away. Meant, away. Yeah, I meant I meant the facility you're trying to break into secretly. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, but I mean, we're gonna, blow, we're gonna blow a wall, so it's not that secret. Well, well, we could we could save it for last case scenario. Like either like we need to get out and blow the door open so we can leave because we can because we can sneak in and then blow our way out if shit hits the fan. That's true. We do have Ton here. We can blow our way out if need be. And she just kind of winks. So then we could <laughs> set. We could. We could <laughs> Thank you. I really used to laugh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, somebody laugh at my joke. <laughs> Innuendo. Very Innuendo. good. Innuendo. In her, in, in her end, <laughs> I was like, she has, she has the spell blast. I'm pretty sure, like it's fine. So <laughs> it took me a while to fucking realize what the fuck you're talking about. She is expert on blast. It is fine. <laughs> then fine. we could spare. Uh, we could set up two sticks of dynamites, high, you know, buried in ground. Yeah, Grenade blows up. I do not require magic points. I do not need special PP to blast. I have my own. <laughs> But set dynamite up like triangle with grenade set up, chain reaction blows mm-hmm. giant area open. We'll definitely pull anybody in city out to investigate. It gives us plenty of time to raid Garrison. Okay. Uh, I'll... Anybody there. <laughs> Oliver's so what's the so we're setting up the grenade. And any dynamite as well? Uh, I don't think out here, right? Um, hey, this is this is your operation. I'm along for the ride. Well, we we are divvying up the explosives for everyone, so I don't think it works out here. Just the IED, yes, Gregory. Hmm. Well, the dynamite set up close to the improvised grenade will blow up too if it would hit the. Yes, that would that would have been the intention if we use it, but it would make a loud explosion. Mm-hmm. Which is what we want. We want to pull them out of city Very and well. garrison. Very well. We shall commit war crimes. I am going to install TNT. I will, <laughs> I will make I will make the the TNT be the point of penetration between the two. I mean, okay. 
now it looks, well, now it looks believable. Well, that way we have two sticks of dynamite left over for us. And then, so we, uh, well, us, all of us, what's... Who's going to go get the soldiers and tell them where the bodies are? I can do it. I have already established myself within the town, and I'm mm -hmm. sure nobody will think twice about that. Do you want to... Should we all uh, dress in their uh, uniforms? No... They will know who they will know who's a soldier in town. So do that it will raise more suspicions. Purse, I think. Yes, we are. We, we just are, need. We are also not dark elves. It would not stand out well. And what's about for uh, entering the facility? We are. Still that could. Be, oh well. That could work. Wear the uniforms. Mm. Cover your faces. Like wearing like a scarf. It's it's a mountain. It's cold. That's true. Um, well, since but... we will be in garrison to get weapons and things, maybe we could find spare uniforms, stuff like that, or at least cobble together uh, outfits. Mm -hmm. You have, you have, a, I think we, you, we you have, have, have a few. We have uniforms, helmets, mil and military IDs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we can we can do the suggestion of covering our faces, and um, basically we just have to get inside. Once we're inside, it it's not as important because you know we just keep walking, don't erase any real suspicion, most people won't notice. Yeah, uh, what, the elf says, will, what will well, my part be, because I am not elf of any kind. Yeah. And yeah, big, big dragon born in you. Is it big? Yeah, I would have to wear something like that and like helmet, something to cover the head. Yeah, there are, there are helmets and we, there mm. are helmets he's, and we he's also a six six and a foot half a tall red dragon man with a tail so we we just need to get inside so from inside i think uh you just need to not be seen because mm. I... in there. they were taking people there were they not yes we were we, were, we had discussed prison mm -hmm. transport mm -hmm. as well we could Oliver goes, um, or i could find place to hide that then... that wasn't my what are we I, so you're going to say, Ethel, you're going to go get the people, bring them here. Mm -hmm. Do like me and Gory stay here and pick off those who oh, you know, I, survive? I understand. Yes, be here to murder the stragglers. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I wanted I wanted to see. Is that, that the way you can lead them here? Double back, meet with Ton at Garrison. Raid honestly, it's... honestly, the initial plan was just to have them come here blow up, alert anyone else in town to come here while we are heading in the opposite direction. I wanted to have distance between them and us when we were doing our task, but we can just kill them and then not have to worry about that at all. If that was my like, are, Yeah, are we going to... Uh, Let's just murder yeah, that them, was my yes. Question. Murder them? Sure! Let's also make it safer because if Tan and, and is taking or having a hard time finding things, you don't want suddenly three guards to show back up. So if we could, if we take care of them here, she can take all the time, and then we just meet her in garrison. Most people probably too scared from fighting explosion, they run away. They're not going to bother us. What? Uh... Probably not running up to facility in case they get shot by those people thinking they're trying to storm gates. What am I looking for? Mostly uh, any weapons, uh, if you see any explosives or ammunition, definitely a plus, because we could help use explosives on escape to keep them from following, stuff like that. Perhaps someone should go with her as well to provide backup, because, Tan, you're not exactly... Um, no, that's between you two. I will be drawing the... Yeah. yeah so she, should I, why don't she you go? Her? Why don't you go? Gregory is a a sniper, yeah. so his job is to not be seen very well. I I can I can post up out here. There's a lot of coverage. I have lots of hiding spots. You just go with Tan. When boom goes off, then me and Selothel will surprise attack them. Whoever is left. That's good to me. All right, Tan, you and me are going to go and. Steal some weapons. That sounds fun. All right. Um, let me get you a uniform. Um, Ooh. 
before any Excellent. of this, and um, she's and uh, I'm going to. I'm going to concentrate and uh, and reach out and cast deflection on everybody. Sure thing. Cast your spells, my friend. Uh, how long is it left? Oh. Ooh, that's a failure. Oh, no. I'm going to need a reroll. Or do another one. Yeah. Uh, one, yeah. two, three. Three raises. Oh, oh, yeah. Whoa, that's not that's not three raises. That's a lot of raises. I need to do... I need a calculator to subtract <laughs> how many raises that is. All right, and I'll recast on myself. That's five raises. Five raises. <laughs> okay, so um, on a raise... Do, 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 do. <laughs> Everybody has a minus four against 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 them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Minus four. A minus. Four. Minus four. It's also acts as armor against area effect weapons. Ooh. Excellent. Yes. So everyone but yourself, you applied that failure to yourself. Yes. Okay. Do you want to cast it again, or do you want to spend a Benny? I want to cast it again. Okay. I'm yeah. saving the Mark Benny. Sure thing. Smart. More raises. And it's a raise. <laughs> Motherfucker. How many? You're so many 12s. We're fucking invincible. You rolled, you rolled two sixes and two 12s. And Mac, fuck my life. We just, we just have magical, magical power armor walking into this that place. Was, 22 is, a, is five and a half raises. Jeez. Um, yeah, so it's 5.5. Is, like, is, is that like... Um, is five and a half raises, is that like uh, two for each of them? Is that just like a minus ten? I am going... It's uh, a raise increases the penalty to minus four. So I'm going to say that uh, no does not increase it to like a minus. I'm going to say no. Okay. Because Jesus... You would be invincible. Yes. You couldn't die. And I'm not, not giving you that power quite so yet. Quite yet. Okay. So, uh, Tan and Oliver head back to the truck or the, the town. Head, head, head over there and wait for the soldiers to get pulled away. Um, Grigori, you set up in the forest. Roll a stealth check. Uh, okay, sure you. you are you are hidden. You are. I'll say you're 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 you're, you're getting you're becoming an expert sniper at this point. You know where to hide, for the, far enough away, um, to get to um, uh, far enough away to to hide close enough. You you won't. It's yeah. You're you're hidden. You're in a good position. You're absolutely ready to fucking rock that shit. Um, Han. Nope. See you, though. Yeah. Uh, you give uh, Tan and Oliver some time to get back to the village before you um, uh, before you run and get uh, the guards' attention. Um, as you you give them twenty minutes, uh, then you start to head out. What is your plan? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, I am going to find. Uh, probably just a group of guards and just be like, you have to come quick. You, you, I, I, I found, I found two, two soldiers. Uh, they, they were doing something so shameful out in the woods. And I'm just gonna, like, look really shocked and appalled and kind of lean on my, uh, did we say it was half or, or some dark heritage yeah i think you um, said she's a half dark elf yeah, you so yeah you have some da da I'm, dark I'm gonna, elf i'm, gonna, I'm gonna lean on that to to make me seem more trustworthy um and just be like you have to come quick they, they're they're in the in the woods we we, we can find them and and just be like uh okay let's let's we, i found oh. them i found i found those people oh. who are missing and they're doing yeah. something shameful out in the woods Sure thing. Roll a persuasion check. Do I have 
have any bonuses. Oh, I even love... better, because they were worried that you were just inspecting them. Now they're going to see you come back like, I found these missing people. Yeah, they're doing I something found, horrible. I found these people doing shameful stuff. They're going to definitely trust yeah. you, too. That's going to be the best thing. Seven? Okay. Um... So you went into a group of them. I, like I said before, uh, there are ten people in. There are ten. Um, uh, there are ten soldiers. Eight currently. You went up to a group of them. I'll say there are four there. Um, and you convince. Excuse me. Sorry, I was just cracking my back a little bit. You convince two of them to come with you. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I will let you. Uh, you can spend a Benny to re-roll it, or you can tr if uh, you can try to try another persuasion check. I'll ha you have to you have to do a scene, um, but if you do that, you will have you will, you will lose your minus two to your roll. I'm, I'm, you gonna, try spend again. My, I'm gonna spend my other Benny. This is important if we draw some more okay. people away. So you have three Benny, so this is your second one. Boom! I'll take it. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you get all four. Um, at least there's only four in, not in the garrison, but in the in the in, in the, the village. Yeah. So, um, that's you, fine. yeah, that's uh, fine. That just means that there's less of them to come running uh, for us to yeah. deal with afterwards. Absolutely. So they yeah, so can make it. So yeah, um, you convince all four to go with you. You um, lead them back into the forest. Um, Tan, do you and Oliver? Uh, wait a bit, or do you once you see Salithil get them, do you immediately start to go towards the garrison and try to get inside? Uh, the plan was for us to to meet, right? Or well, no, the, we'll, we'll we'll distract them, and then well, we're mm -hmm. just while all the guards are investigating what's going on. That's when you guys raid the place. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Just do you wait, or do you head immediately? It, it, so, so I would wait because the explosion. You're not frost. You're not. Well, dead. yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. frost. Of, yeah. Um, I'm gonna wait for the explosions. Yeah, I mean. Just, oh, just open fire on the facility. Fuck you, I walls. St I start. I start blood bending the uh, uh, the guards to start attacking each other. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I don't. Is that a roll for heal do? turn? Um, I look through your power. Me do that, but I can't get it yet because it's veteran. Make another yes. puppet. Oh. Like, I was eyeing that too, and then you said the game was going to come to it, and I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was, um, I was literally going to puppet these people. Dance. We'll, we'll see dance. if we ever come back to this game. Um, I'll give you guys a bunch of experience if your characters survive. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you wait um, wait for the explosion to happen. Salathil, you lead them back through the forest. You lead them up to this to the area. It does, in fact, smell like. Uh, oh, you took it. <laughs> Let's check in your your. No, it doesn't matter. Um, you lead them back to the uh, to the ambush site. There is that picnic. They are going to all roll a notice check um, as they begin to approach. Um, that's not where my D six is. Oh, these D six are here. Four of them. Okay. Um, looking around, um, they see uh, first off the two naked men. Um, uh, sp spooning. Um, he's very romantic. He's very mm -hmm. romantic. One of them. Uh, one of the soldiers says, he says, like, oh, what? How, is it, this doesn't make any sense here, does it? Um, he turns to his, to his buddies. Um, they all roll pretty bad. One guy did get a raise. Um, he rolled, like, a ten. Um, so he doesn't approach. Um, he says it's a little further back. Um, kind of looking at the body, trying to looking around, being like, "This doesn't seem like what these guys would do." He's he's, he's wary. The other three um, see their friends apparently died in the middle of a session, um, middle of a quick fuck sesh. Um, 
and while the the one that doesn't start you know like wanting to go into investigate i'm lighting my shot right on him sure thing um so you take do, a they, second. do they realize that they're dead or do they just think they might be asleep they one of them is weirded out because he sees two naked men in the middle of the forest um but he gets a feeling like this something's wrong um Say, so, what do you do at this moment? Do you like sneak away? Like, what do you? What, what's? What no, do you do? Um, I, I'm gonna like stay on the outskirts and be like, see, this is what I'm talking about. They're so drunk and passed out. You guys should go wake them up and, and throw them in the, in the the stocks. That's not the right word. Throw them in 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 holding. Sure. You you start talking. Uh, the one guy's kind of back, kind of giving you a weird side eye, like, like what? Um. The other three approach. Um, one of them uh, kind of looks over, um, freaks out, seeing that they are, in fact, dead. Um, it's not super hard to tell at this point. Um, and uh, that's, yeah. He, uh, the guy who's, who noticed that their throats have been slashed goes up grabs uh the shoulder of one of them and moves him to like see what the fuck is going on um and there is an explosion and this why is in this loading oh come on don't do this to me not now not like this not like this not in front of, not in front of my friends <laughs> not in front of the internet not in front of not in front of the internet no i swear this doesn't happen often I uh, just want to check the damage of a grenade. Uh, grenade, grenades. Ah, okay. I am going to say this looks this is a similar damage to the um M, the Mark II pineapple, um, which is the classic frag grenade. Um, the three of them got close enough. The one, the fourth guy, um, uh, didn't get close enough to check this out. Um, and because they failed their notice checks, they take all take 3d6 damage. Um, that's really bad damage, uh, unfortunately. There um, doesn't, isn't there like a, a bonus when there's multiple, um, dynamites? Oh, fuck, yeah, I forgot, you did use that. Did. Uh, <laughs> sure, so, uh, that's only four damage from the grenade, um, and I'll roll, it's dynamite, I'll give you 46 from this. Okay, there we go, so that's a four, five, that's ten damage. So far, it's 15, Jesus Christ. Come on, baby. Uh, 16. Um, that is 16 damage. So, uh, 20 altogether, or is just, that... six, just 16? All the uh, uh, the first, yeah, no, just 16. And I need to check where Underdark Soldier, I need to check their toughness, uh, and see if this fucks them up. Uh, it definitely get definitely hurts them. Their toughness is five, so they are all shaken and each take two wounds. Nice. Um, there's an explosion. They are quite fucked up. They're like, they're shrapnel in their chests and their legs um, as they all get thrown backwards. Um, Gregory, you had a shot prepared on the fourth guy. Take your shot. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, is that hits? It definitely hits. They have a parry of, of five. They're, they're not, they're not, they're not weak. These guys aren't, these guys are, are yeah. fairly tough. Uh, but roll your damage. 14. <laughs> Respectable damage. 14. Okay. Um, now, Grigori, you would have taken a headshot, right? Yeah, most likely. Yeah, okay, so that's a minus 4 to your hit, and your 13 minus 4 is 9. So that still hits. Um, and so I believe that adds extra damage. Let me look up uh, headshots. Um, cause I forgot that's part of this game and, and I don't, I want to make sure you guys, uh, let's see, head shot inflicts plus four damage. So 14 plus four is 18. Um, 
so that is not enough to kill him outright. Um, but he is also shaken and has two wounds. Um, explosion. The men get thrown back. You fire. You graze this guy's head. Um, also, you, you fucking shoot his nose off. Um, and kind of falls to his knees, screaming, grabbing his face. Um, Salathil, you have a round. What do you want to do? You have guns and knives. Uh, yeah. I, um... I wouldn't have had the submachine gun on me, um, but it would have been it would have been tucked somewhere nearby. So she probably like reaches into the bush where she had it concealed, mm -hmm. and yep. I'm gonna just spray spray into the remaining group. Sure. Let me pull up the weapons, uh, submachine guns. Uh, oh wait, no, you have a particular one. Let me. Find... Yeah, we we took we took theirs, didn't we? Right. Yes, you did. Uh, and let me just pull up the MP40 on this fucking. Oop, as I spell. It's the machine pistol f uh, 40. Uh, let me just find the damage. Uh, MP40, yeah, 9 millimeters. Um. So, you rate of fire is 3, so you can take 3 shots. Um, and the right. damage is two d six minus one. Yeah. Two so so roll roll your first. Yeah. Well, so roll three attacks, and then um, one seven. That's a hit. Two. Nope. That's unfortunately a miss. Last penny. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that was my yeah. reroll. Sure um, thing. Uh, and then. Uh, does is there like a jam or anything on this gun if I roll? Uh, no. The okay. no. The 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 three. I'll say if you're Benny, you take the better result. Okay. Uh, so you do not critical fail. So I'm, I'm being nice. Sure. So that's just a um, But you're now out of Benny's. Yes, and then there's a four. It's a four. Okay, so unfortunately only one hits. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's some yeah. Real, I oh, to... real bad luck. Four ones in a row. That's bad. Um, uh, do you uh, attack the guy, shoot the guy closest to you? Yeah, probably the closest one. Uh, Excellent. 2d6. Minus one. So then it'll be ten. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, you kill him. Uh, you just <laughs> straight up kill him. Yeah. Yeah. You just probably just in like it, it's one of those like, and it just fires up and it just he yeah. takes the first set of bullets and then the other two just get the wild spray. Yeah. You fire. There's like a um, like uh, just like kind of gets thrown back. There's that spray of blood from from his back and he just kind of like tumbles and falls. Um. So technically, this is a this is a combat. Um, so everyone, um, click the little, little, uh, card and you'll get a, um, well, I don't want that six of spades Ooh, or that seven of diamonds. Do you see those? Yeah. Those that's fine. Cool. It's, that's fine. Um, so yeah, six of spades, seven of diamonds. That, that's the, that's their initiative. There's oh, seven three. of oh. clubs. <laughs> Two of diamonds. I didn't grab the six of spades, but there's six. So if I'm gonna get six of spades. Don't use them. Uh, excellent. Eight I don't. Diamond. Sweet. Eight of diamonds. Okay. Still first. Frost. Oh, mine's the seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. Um. I forget the the combat order. I don't know if it's diamonds better than clubs? Let's see. Um, I'm gonna say that I don't quite remember the exact uh, suit suit order. I think I'm gonna say diamonds are better than clubs. Um, so it is Salathil's turn first. Yeah. So it's clubs is the lowest, diamonds, oh, I was right. hearts, spades. Diamonds, hearts, so spades, diamond, hearts, diamonds, clubs? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, clubs is the lowest. I so I feel you're up going. first. Um, I'm going to fire some more. 
because sure. we kill these guys. One guy's dead, three of them are still alive. They're on the ground, they're getting up, they're wounded, they're shaken. Um, is there like a bonus for point blank? Uh, let's find out. Because I imagine if they're on the ground and, you know, shell shocked, just walking up and just going is much easier than trying to hit them from downrange. Uh, I'll give you a plus two to your attack. All right, That's absolutely that. true. You walk up and you can just shoot them. Yeah, I'm going to just uh, black, black. All right. So one, so, six. That's it. These these ones are killing me here. Yeah, that <laughs> uh, is a, that four. is unfortunately a miss. The four is a parry of five. Four oh, is a miss. Okay. Parry of parry of five. Gotcha, gotcha. And is that is... <laughs> fuck 15? that guy in particular. <laughs> uh, actually, let me let me just check. Um... Let's see if their parry or something's down from being all injured. And yeah, stuff. I want to see if, if Shaken makes their parry lower. Sure. Um, let me just look up. Shaken. Um. Sneaky on. Uh, let me just go parry. I'm the Oops. Yeah, Ba-da-ba-poop. Nope. Um. Convincements. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Um. Those are edges. Um. I'm going to say currently no. His parry's the same, so that unfortunately misses. But you do hit two of them, and they yeah, are take, pretty fucked two. up. So, 2d6 minus 1 for each damage. Let's do this. It'll be the first set. Wow. 3? Uh, 3 unfortunately misses. Uh, does, not kill, does not give him a wound. And 4. And 4. Their their toughness is 5. Bloody hell. Um, <laughs> the, the, um... Yeah. Does the raises not do anything with the shooting? Uh, let's find out. We haven't done a whole lot of combat. No, we um, haven't. Which is, it's like, huh? It's just yeah. It's just not what. It's not what this this series turned out to be. Which is kind of the point of it. It was it was less about combat, more don't, about. Don't wounds being... apply penalties too? They do, but the, uh, on the I have a sheet for them, and their their things have not gone down, which it usually does. Let me just let me just click on it and see if I get a, a thing. Let's see. Nope. Uh, doesn't post anything. Hindrance mod. Um... Currently, no. Um... Okay. Yeah, you fire. You do hit. You don't hit them. You don't hit them um, enough to enough to kill them outright. Um, that is your turn. It is one of the uh, one of the soldiers' turned, and they are going to roll a spirit uh, and attempt to uh, essentially stop being shaken. Um, and they su They don't succeed. They have a minus two. They have to roll a six. Um, and so they are not, they do not free. The next guy uh, does not, he's not recovering. Next guy uh, rolled a four, but minus two. He does not. Uh, they both stay down. They're getting up, kind of looking around. They don't really know what's happening. Um, Grigori. Yes. You see three guys. Uh, the the dude that got shot in the nose, I'm going to try to put him out of his misery. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He got shot by Sailor. Okay. Then I'll put uh, one of the exploding guys down. Just... Fuck my life. I am the one who delivers the shot to their face from ten miles That's away. away. What? Double what? <laughs> Double... Oh! Um... So, uh, let's see, double one. That is on Does damage, though, so it's not technically a failure. Fun. 
It's not can technically he, a failure. Can he, um, can he need to re-roll damage? I mean, he already rolled a five, and you can, but their toughness is five. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna. And it's only a, six, so it's only gonna do one. They have two wounds. They need three yeah. wounds to become dead. Oh, well, then, so you yeah. shoot oh, a guy. Funny. It pierces his neck, and he just falls and grabs his, his throat as he begins to bleed out. Uh, it is one of the other team, other guy's turn. He's going to roll, and he succeeds. So he gets up, um, grabs his rifle, and kind of looks around wildly um, and sees you, Sanathil, the only person around. Um, pulls, uh, lifts the gun to his shoulder and is going to fire his weapon. Uh, where's the shooting? I'm so glad I took dodge last time. <laughs> Uh, they have only have a D6 to shooting, and they have a minus two to all their rolls. What's your... A minus four because of her... Uh, they have a minus... The armor. Oh my god, they Plus have a, a minus... minus two if they're and, in their wounds. And they have a minus... <laughs> he's a minus six to his D6 roll. So he has to... What's your parry? Um, my parry is a six. So he yeah. has to roll two sixes in a row to hit you. Good luck. He rolls a, and he rolls a two. Um, he fires wildly, um, misses, it is... He turns uh, the gun around and shoots himself. No, he's not, not quite that bad. Another, the other guy will, um, so... Oh, no, no, that, that is it. Uh, all three of them have gone? Yes. Okay, back to the top of the round. Uh, Salithil. I'm not gonna waste any more ammo on this. I'm gonna take out my 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 hydra knife and I'm gonna huh? just just uh sit on his chest and just stab him in the throat. Uh, the guy shooting at you or the guy still on the ground? Uh, the guy shooting at me because he sure already, he already missed. So I'm just gonna close the yeah. gap and deal with him. Absolutely, you can absolutely do that. It's easy enough. I'm gonna stab him in the throat. Uh, I gotta turn my minus two off. Oh, it's already off. Cool. Yay! Bloody yeah, hell, these that. ones on my fighting. Um, yeah. Hey, that's a four. That's a four. You stab. Um, he's able to sort of move out of the way. Um, not very well. He sort of stumbles out of the way. He's, he's bleeding pretty badly. He's panicked. Um, mm -hmm. He's panicked running. Yeah, his adrenaline is running high right now, so he's able to keep... Like, if... if in 20 minutes, if he survives this, he's going to collapse and una be unable to move. Um, but for right now, he's just like, he's, he's, he's running. He's freaking out. The other guy is going to go, uh, actually it's his turn. Is this, this, this guy's, uh, this guy's turn. Actually, is it? No, it's not. Uh, that guy's dead. Uh, Grigori. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Uh, God, do yeah, you shoot the guy still on the ground or the one that, uh, Salithil was fighting? Uh, let's see. That guy that Sentinel's fighting just trying to shoot at her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the other one, so he doesn't even get a chance. Sure thing. He's like, she got that one. Boom. Fires the other guy. Gets, uh, essentially you just take part of his head off. Um, after that, it is this guy's turn, and you're too close to him for, you, for him to be able to fire. Uh, he has a knife, I believe. He does have a combat knife. Knife so he's fight. Going to, he's, he's going to take out his knife and is bleeding badly. Um, he's going to attempt to attack you. And this isn't a projectile. He only has a minus two to his attack. Okay. Uh, that is a that is a six. Rolls it again. That is an eight minus two. Uh, so that is a that's six altogether. Oh, that just says uh, uh, it misdirects melee and missile attacks. Yeah. Does it say melee attacks? It's okay. Incoming melee and missile attacks. So that so that is a minus six. That's a minus six for a four. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope for a two. Nope, that's for a two. Never mind. He misses. Yep. So it's, it's fighting and shooting. I was so happy. More <laughs> other attack rolls directed at the at them. Yeah, that's like yeah yeah. Um, so he thinks Black he gets it, but then there's just then there's just like an invisible field that just goes, yeah. That is the end of his turn, Salafil. 
right. So My happy turn. I could stab My one turn. of you. Sorry. Stab him. Yeah, shit. No, shit. you guys, it's not, it's 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 within the rules. It's not it's not I'm so mad. Yeah, it, it, listen, I, I, I'm, I DM all the time. Sometimes you really want them to, to, to struggle for it, and the dice are just like, nah, let them have this. <laughs> I mean, you're See, struggling they, pretty. I'm, oh, no, no, I'm not. That <laughs> hits. Oh, that totally. Yeah, all you have to do is get a five damage. You get uh, five damage. What's the, what's the knife? What's, I don't it's know. a one, it's 1d4, uh, and also, and then you, so it's 1d4 plus your strength die. So your roll strength die and your d4. Two D four, that's pretty. It's you. Good chance six, that yeah. that is that is six. <laughs> yeah, you. How do you kill him? Um, I think I think we just do the knife fight for for a minute, and it's the it's the Saving Private Ryan scene where they they just start wrestling for a moment, and he might have knocked Sailor Phil's knife away for a second, and then they're doing the struggle, and she turns his knife around, and it's just the trying really hard not to get stabbed in the chest and she just presses down nice and slow yeah uh yeah that mm -hmm. was that was vin diesel's first movie and he died like a bitch he did that what was his first movie he's good mm -hmm. in that he played a pretty good sort of dumb guy from wherever in the hell yeah and then he just got stabbed with his own knife yeah uh, he didn't die like a bitch it was a really that, powerful no, that scene it was <laughs> it was it was a good scene I, I remember watching that in high school and everyone just being like, what the fuck are we watching? And I'm mm. like, oh, movie. <laughs> that movie, is yo. that is intense. Mm -hmm. um, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a very intense scene. Um, yeah. You stab him. Um, you get up. You're fucking unhurt. I'm so mad about that. I, <laughs> it's a good spell. It if it makes you feel any better, mm. I did I did spend a huge chunk of my power points. It does make me feel great. Uh, also, Rin used all of his all of his um, bennies and. Bennies are up, yeah. Uh, let's see. We've been playing. But I'm, I'm okay with that too because I used a lot of good stuff for my bennies. Uh, yeah, we're at one fifteen. You also roll. You also spend a benny on seeing if a guy didn't like Nazis. Mm -hmm. It was so, important. I didn't want anybody ah. stitching us out. It, it, if if he was suspicious, he could have ratted us out. As a resistance movement, it's important to know what the populace is feeling. Sure. I, I'm, sure. I, I'm content in my, my role and my okay. results. You're confident in your roles? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you, uh, Tan, you hear an explosion. Um, and you hear some pops of gunfire in the distance. Um, it's It's pretty noticeable from here, but... You doubt that if you act quickly, um, you should be able to um, maybe even... Yeah, you, you think that if you act quickly enough, you should be able to stop anyone who tries to contact uh, the um, lab up the mountain. Uh, so, what, is, what does Tan do? Aren't we, aren't we hoping for them to contact so that they send people out? No, no, we're uh, not from the facility. Not from the facility. The barracks, yes, not the facility. Because the facility knows people around. They're going to up their security no, going, here. Don't go into lockdown. We want. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Here, they're a bunch of they're a bunch of assholes. Okay. So, yeah. So... Also, they're a bunch of assholes. So you probably they probably think that they're going to be like, we can do, we can take this, and then go be stupid. Yeah. Uh, okay. You. So there's wait. So two. Two dies, so there's eight left. Four, so there's only four of them left. Um, there are two guys in the barracks that you can see, or the garrison that you can see. Um, I'm going to roll, and if they succeed, they'll stay. If they fail, that doesn't count. That that I almost threw it off my desk. If they fail, uh, they will run off, try to be heroes. Two. It's one success. Okay. Uh, they both stay. Alright, does it look like there's anybody heading off towards the place we don't want them to be going? Uh, roll notice. No, 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 you better be doing your job, Oliver. <laughs> oh, he's who roll notice too. Um. Five. Five? Okay, that is a success. Oh, the eight is right there. Um, okay, but no, he's wild card. He does get a six. 
Uh, so he rolled a 10. Okay. Um, looking around, you don't see anyone run up. Um, as you're sort of in this little spot, and you kind of look towards the forest line, we know in the direction, you do see two soldiers running towards the action. Um, they, while these two did remain at their post, they don't seem to be running towards any sort of radio. Alright, I'm going to look to Oliver and, and just speak low. Do you want to do any, anything about them? I mean, we could kill them. <laughs> Have you considered murder? Have you considered murder? Most foul? I... Well, you took the medic with you. I was given the medic. Okay. <laughs> you were given. The um. Medic. I can make sure you don't die. You, I have that. That you have that. That spell on me. So how about you go in the back, start looking around. I'll deal with those two. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Don't die. I won't. I have, I have, I'm pretty confident in my magic. Sure. Um, yeah, you go and go around back and see what you can find. Okay. We'll go around Excellent. Back. Sure thing. Roll stealth check if you're being stealthy. Stealth check. Hey, I'll take it. That's it, yeah. Um, he is going to walk up to them, like, sort of walks up, uh, has his camera, has his, has his badge on him, um, and oh, goes like, saying. Sirs! Oh, I thought he was going to take a picture of himself killing him. Raises, mm -hmm. uh, raises, raises his, his hand. Um, and uh, so you, he leaves your he leaves your perception range. You, you, you're not sure what's happening with him. Uh, roll a notice check. Oh, you rolled really good on your stealth for a d4. I know. Uh, you know so, what? Ooh. This seems important. Now I will spend a Vinny. Sure. A Vinny. A six. Um, going in to um, what you are pretty sure would be like their armory. Not a lot there. Um, first off, they have their gear. They have their, their kits with them. Um, so inside this kind of small tent, uh, you see plenty. You see spare ammo enough for the, your group um, to last you uh, long enough. Um and what else is in there? Let me pull up my... Yes, okay. Uh, uh, so first off, they do... There is a couple... You know. You do know that there is uh, There is a single machine gun there. They have a, sort of a, a, a big MG. It's, it's on a um, it's on a stand, so it's... Uh, you have to be pretty MG. strong. Mm -hmm. Um... Yes, you don't. It's not in this tent, but you know they have one. So if, you put, if you're able to get it, you can get that. Inside of the tent, however, um, how generous am I feeling today? Yes. Yes. That's a yes. <laughs> you see what can only be dis what uh, is known. Um, it was known in World War Two. This is just this is just for fun for me. Um, uh, a Grattenwaffer 34. Tan, you know it as a mortar. You okay. see a large tube um, that could be put up on two, like, a uh, bipod and aimed. Um, as well as ten shells. It is fairly large. It is, it is a big thing. It's going to be quite heavy to carry. Um, but you now have access to a mortar. Um, this poor facility. This poor facility. Um, uh, you see in in a box there are two uh, there are two Panzerfausts, two pa uh, tank fists, uh -huh. um, because they 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 have them as part of the as part of the, the loadout in, in within the game. Um, uh, enough ammo. Um, uh, um, uh, I'll say ten grenades. Ten sort of spare grenades in, in a box marked grenade. Um, and no, nah, I'm not going to give you a flamethrower. Sorry. Um, I it's looking know. at it. Flammen, uh, a flammen worfer. Worf um, is a flammen. Worf is a flammen. Uh, well, 
I'm sure others in your party would love one. Oh, if, you, um, if, you were filling, if you were filling me and you would have put one there. <laughs> so yes, um, there is the, there's the uh, the MG42 um, uh, that you can grab. It's it's a sort of set up already. It's outside. Um, and, uh, plenty of ammo, um, ten grenades, and a a mortar with a maximum range of two hundred feet. A minimum range of fifty. Okay, so uh, ten grenades. Uh, ten grenades, yeah. Two um, Panzerfinks. Panzerfaust. Tank fist. Spare ammo. Uh, yes. Big machi gun. And a uh, all gratin. Gratin warfer. An, uh, an all gratin waffle. <laughs> Got it. Got that not to offer. Oh, uh, Got for thirty-four. Yeah. It is so. Um, it takes. Uh, yeah, it, it cannot move. You have to like pick it up and set it up and get it ready. So it can't move within combat and is considered a heavy weapon. Mm-hmm. And it weighs one hundred twenty-five pounds. Well, shit, I'm not carrying this shit out. No, we yes. Um, but there are what we- there are like there's like grenades in there. So you you know what's in here. There's also that big truck. There is there is a truck. We can load the truck up. Uh, the truck. That is true. You could then, take the truck. And then I am. I, is there a radio in here? Uh, in this place, no. There's this. There's no radio inside the um the armory or uh, sort of resupply tent. Okay. Um, with that six, uh, I will say that if you uh if you roll another stealth check and succeed, you can go and. Find um, probably find a radio. Hey, another seven. Yeah, you're able to sneak out, um, and I'm gonna roll some 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 rolls. Of course you are. I would like to say that I put on the gas mask, by the way. Sure thing. You put in the gas mask. Um, so unbeknownst to you, um, as you're looking through the armory, um, Oliver walks up to the men, um, and as he does, he raises his camera um, and takes a picture of them directly in their faces with a large flash bulb. Um, <laughs> they both kind of reel back, um, and he takes out a knife uh, and stabs one of them. Um, as the fight continues, uh, as you as you leave that tent, um, you look over and you see that one of them is pretty badly wounded, um, but Oliver is currently wrestling the other guy, um, and you're not sure how it's going. I don't want this guy to be my first kill. Do you let Oliver continue the fight by himself? She's like, it's okay, I buffed him earlier, it's fine. He's got it this. was a pretty powerful buff. He's got this, he'll be fine. Let's see, let's see. What's the worst that could happen? Mm. Oliver Dude. could die. That's the, the worst, worst that, that, that can happen. happen. <laughs> do, do the thing where you jump on his back so Oliver could just ga 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 while he's like going down. I mean, that is true. I could attempt to, to, to just like restrain him. Then you get to yeah. bathe in enemy blood. Can I do non-lethal damage using yes, blood magic? Yes, absolute. Uh, ooh, with, what are you trying to do with blood magic? Can I? Can I? Uh, can I? With my medical training. Um, What's like, what spell are you using with blood magic? Um, you you said as part of the blood magic. Um, oh right, you can. Spellcaster may drain a target with it against a contested vigor roll, inflicting that and gaining a power point. That is lethal damage. Okay. You are draining their life force from them. So I can't um, like, I can't like. Uh, if uh, you do, if so, if you do that. 
and they get to three wounds, th- with that, they will die. How many wounds does it look like they have right now? I, I One of... Training, so. Sure, roll a medicine. Roll the medicine skill. Medicine. See, if you can, see if you can sort of quickly diagnose how, how bad medicine. these guys look. Medicine. Uh, that would be healing. Yes, oh, we'll do healing. Yeah. Hmm? Seven? Seven. That's not bad. Um, look, the one on the ground, um, looks like he's near death. Um, uh, Oliver and the other guy look, look, like they're both wounded, um, and are currently fighting. So one, one guy, essentially, mechanically, one guy has two wounds, Oliver and the other guy have one. Okay, well, that guy he's fighting is about to take another wound then. Sure, uh, roll a spell, uh, your spell casting, uh, dice. Yeah. And then he will oppose it with a vigor roll. And I, I, I don't want to be seen doing this. I just want him. I just want his, uh, sure. his like Achilles tendon to snap or something. Sure thing. Yep. Yeah, it's about casting. Yeah. An eleven. Okay. So for this, uh, I'm not doing. So it won't be like it, it's like a D4. Essentially, they have to beat an eleven now. Okay. Um. And then we pull up their figure. I think their figures are just a D6. Um, all their stats are D6s. They're uh, the fuck? Why is it not loading? Whatever. I know their stats. D6. Uh, well, that's a three. Um, yeah. So he he takes a, a wound as you draw and wither his body a little bit. And you regain a power point. Yeah. Congratulations. You, you, you pull... A little bit of this man's essence of being out of him, uh, and he's wounded. And then, and, and then just to myself, I'm like, oh, I can see that's a high. Yeah, it does feel good. It does. It does feel good. Um. Uh. And yeah, you watch as uh, Oliver uh, uh is able to get the knife, stabs the guy in the neck, kind of rolls it rolls it off of him. Um. The other the other soldier sort of puts his hands up. And make his head explode. Oliver does put a gun at him, uh, but does not fire. What do you do in this mo- that moment as you watch this? You're still hidden. You rolled a self check. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch. And see what he does. Sh- sure. Um, Oliver hits the man in the head. Um, probably not killing him. Um, and restrains the man. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, I go find the radio. Sure. You head into uh, what it probably is sort of like their their mess hall, meeting hall. Um, again, just like a canvas roof. Uh, this one has more permanent uh, walls and uh, built built up of uh, of wood. Um, there are several tables inside. Um, uh, and sort of a small kitchen, um, and you see there's a, a kind of a corner of it that's been sectioned off uh, the door. You open that up, um, and inside is a small uh, radio setup. Uh, well, not a small radio setup. It's fucking big. Um, it has to be. Uh, this big thing, bunch of wire, bunch of, bunch of uh, switches. Um, it has like a, like a giant chunky headset and like this big microphone thing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut those wires. Door. You take out a, you take out your knife and you start cutting wires. Um, they spark. Uh, you get zapped a little bit, um, but not enough to take a wound. Um, and you sabotage the radio. Well, no calling their their friends now. Nope. Uh, we're gonna cut away. Um, there are let's see, two died, four died. Okay, there are two more coming at you guys. Uh, Salafil and Gregory. Um, what time is it? Time we're playing. Um. You, you would guess um, it is 8.15. We've been playing for about an hour and a half. So I'm going to set up this this scene, and then we'll take a break. Um, but Gregorian Salathil, uh, you know that some people are probably going to come this way. Uh, do you, do you, Salathil, do you hide? Gregory, do you move? What do you do? Yeah, we can yeah. hide. I'm going to set up another ambush. Okay, Absolutely. So Gregory's going to get closer without, you know, getting, like, too close in range to be sure. seen immediately. But, yeah, he's going to get a lot closer into... Yeah. You have to get closer than you're comfortable with because you, you are in a forest. Um, yeah. But there, there's plenty of cover. You can easily dip behind some cover. 
um, it needed. Uh, so both roll stealth checks. If you're if you're hiding. Uh, that's yeah. a nine, sir. The nine uh, and the ten out outdone by the Gogori. That's his um, job. <laughs> well, he did it on his D six too, yeah. fucker. But it's his job. I would hope <laughs> that's it's good still. That's true. Uh, yeah, you both hide, um, and you wait for the men to come, and that's where we're gonna take a quick break. <laughs> God <right>. fuck. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you picked up on that. Take no, yeah, of course I did. Fucking. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. You can do what you want. I'm a child. Stepping away, y'all. We'll be back shortly. Stay tuned yeah. for more.
sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy. It's your boy. Guinea penis. What? <laughs> Have you never seen that vine? No, I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't vine. I'm not hip to the kids stuff. It's just like this guy's like, hey, what's up? It's your boy, Guinea penis. Ooh. He made he made like a like a sequel. Like, hey, what's up? It's me, your boy. Then just starts sobbing. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, demons, it's me, your boy. <laughs> oh, I fucking love BuzzFeed Unsolved. <laughs> Fuck you, goat man, this is my bridge now. So we're back whenever you're uh, ready to take us away, or rather, we're all back. Who sure. are? Let's do some Weird. murder. Do some more for fucking murder. No murder. Oh no. Here comes to Popo. Too much murder. I did see that uh, TikTok of the house. That is that was a that really is, cool one. That was a uh, that's an insane clown posse song. And uh Hell really, yeah, some dude. real some real big dedication to that house. <laughs> yeah, it was a great. It's a little loud. I think people Just get annoyed loud. after yeah. oh, it, after it, the it, first time. HOA H- 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 is coming for them for sure. No, oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Um, anyways. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to go live. Here we are. We're back. Hello, everyone. It is me, your friend. I have a frozen window on my computer that I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, but th- th- that does not matter. <clears throat> uh, we are back to the game. Um, Salafil, uh, for the first time ever in the campaign has caused damage. Mm. Um, she inflicted a wound on a person. For shame. Tanshir? Yeah, yes, Tanshir. Tanshir. Sorry. Um, names. Sorry, sorry Salatha. All of your kills sorry, not belong to Tan. Right. Yeah, you, you've but just racked up all kill. these kills. Didn't you did kill. not kill. And look, um, was, horribly was, maim and scar for life? Yes. It was, well, he's it was, dead. Yeah. It was it was merciful. He was gonna die and scar for the rest it. of his life. Yeah, she just made it. She just made it mercifully quicker. Oh, That's no, actually Tom, true. No, for the rest of his life. Oh yeah. no! When Tom goes heal, she's gonna be she's gonna do it via jigsaw. Makes them kill themselves. I'm not gonna actually murder them, but mm-hmm. but you yeah. set up the way that they die. No, it's totally not by association. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> <laughs> Any anyways, um. Uh, yes, you caused damage, uh, and assisted, um, uh, Oliver in killing one of the two guards, and learned that using blood magic is fun, (laughs) and in fact, feels quite good. I believe the words was, I know exactly why I have this boner. (laughs) (laughs) Ah... Anyways, Anyways. you were able to also sabotage the radio, um, the radio uh, relay in the base, and also figure out exactly what is going on uh, with all the weaponry, what what is in the weaponry, Uh, ammunition. You can get weapons off of the soldiers if you need any more, uh, mostly carbines and pistols. Um, They also would have grenades on them. There's an an extra box of grenades. Uh, There is a machine gun. and a fucking mortar. Um, I'm just sure you guys will use to its its uh, fullness of its usability. Um, and but cutting back over to Gregory and Salathil, um at the ambush site, you both hide again, waiting for the inevitable ne- inevitable return of some. Uh, soldiers so first up uh you guys are hiding i need you both to roll um notice checks all 
<laughs> what what do my dragon eyes see? Okay. Sailothil, you didn't notice anything. I don't see shit. <laughs> um, there's a lot of dust in the air still. Um, it gets in your eyes and you're unable to notice anything. Grigori, um, you do notice in the distance. You hear the sound of two people running. So Sailothil, because you failed your first round, any attacks made with a ranged weapon will be at a minus two. That's fair. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Double uh, I want... I want that, that, that's that's a critical failure. Uh, it's the only way you can critical fail. It's pretty hard in this game, actually. Yep. Um, uh, Gregory will hold up his hand with the you know, number two on it to let her, let her know how many are coming. I'm probably looking in the opposite direction. Like I don't see them yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, this, this direction. There's two of them. Yeah. You're hiding. Uh, and as they approach, um, you guys technically get a a, a, a surprise round, so you can act. Sailor you can you kind of notice them there, but it's kind of hard to make out their their um, their visage. So you can both take a uh, both take a turn. I'll let Gregory take the shot first. Sure. Su surprise! Surprise! Yep. Oh my god! That's your bonus damage is insane this week. Fifteen damage. That's uh almost max on the bone. They're like just it explodes one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just do all this. Shaken. Wound. Wound. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so one guy is wounded. Uh, just takes two wounds and is shaken. Um, Sailor Hill. I just noticed something on my sheet. Sure. I have shooting and fighting on here. Shooting is with a gun. Fighting is with melee. Yeah, but what I've noticed is my fighting is really high and not my shooting. And I feel like that was a mis like that was an error. I'm not gonna change mm -hmm. it now, but because mm -hmm. um, you know she she the only time she's done melee outside of today was stabbing a woman in the. While yeah, that feels well. Well, it, feel, we'll it feels like that, that. It feels like that was an error, and I want to address it later. But I just yeah. noticed it, and I was like, "Huh, okay." Yeah. But I'm gonna use the role, uh, the the where it's at right now, because that's what I've been doing all se all all season, really. Um, yeah. So yeah, with the minus two there. She wow, just, Jesus she's, Christ! She's, did it take she, minus two? She did. She, yeah, no, it did. Okay, weird. She just discovers she's really bad and she at stabbing people really good at her. Does it show that the minus two went in? I'm I'm mousing over it and it still says plus two. So no, uh, no, that should be an eight. Okay, so eight. Ten. I put I, yeah, I put the the minus two into the thing, but it I guess it didn't take. Yeah, that's an eight. That still hits. Okay. It's it's still a rate. Uh, it's not that a raise. Tens a raise. Um, it but. is a ten because oh um, yeah. Nope. Be, oh no! Yeah, because you minus two. No, I, no minus it would again. It, it is still it a would, race. No, it would be a ten. It would be a ten because it's um, you, 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 that's a plus two. That you, you get a plus two to shooting. No, usually that's, that's what I mean. It should be. It should have been the minus two, so it should be ten. Weird. It's an eight. Yeah, that would be an eight then. Okay. Wait, how would it, it be an eight? Because because it, it, it's twelve, right? Oh, um, so you rolled a six plus a four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's wait, a ten it's, minus two eight. Yeah, so it's eight. It's eight. So, yeah. Not. Not math, a rate. Math, we do. <laughs> Not a rate. Okay. Yeah. Um, and second shot. All right. That would be a seven. That's a hit. Now it suddenly wants to do good, and I called it out. Yeah, now you want to do good. <laughs> uh, Eight. <laughs> that all three hit. Uh, I assume you shoot a different guy. Um. Then yeah. Frost, you shoot because the, there's two guys running at you. You know that. Yeah, I'm a. Well, I let's see here. Why don't Why don't we do it like this? First shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two damage. That 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 does not uh, hit. That does not uh, cause a wound or shaken. Mm -hmm. uh, and you that said does. Minus two, so that's seven. Um, well, no, just, is... no, no, just just damage is minus one. Just the hit is oh, so minus one. So just two d six minus one. So that's eight. Um, yeah. If it was the guy Frost shot, is he still standing? Would Sailor Phil have shot the guy? 
that prop that um Grigor had shot, or would you have spread you know, your fire? Fair on? point. I would not, because one, yeah. I can't see where he's scoping with the sniper rifle. Um, yeah. I would. <laughs> it's like five feet to your left. <laughs> yeah, but you're you're looking down a uh, a sight. Yeah. So. It's also in the middle of a fight. People running at you. One guy gets shot. The other guy is unwounded. Like, yeah, what would your character do? I'm not, I'm not your home? spotter. I don't know actually who you're beating in on. Yeah. Um, all right. And that's the third shot. So six. Six. Okay. Um, so he is uh, shaken and has one wound. Um, so that is now officially. Um, uh, I need you guys to draw some cards. I'll draw there. Ooh, an ace. Yay. <gasps> oh. Oh. Would you would you pull? I pulled the Joker. That means oh, you can nice. act whenever you want. Three of spades. Three of spades. Okay. I will uh <laughs> I'm slightly above everybody else. Take that, ace. Uh yeah. So the, 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 the Joker can act whenever he wants and have to act first. Can they can act last if he wants to? Is the ace seven and then the three yeehaw beautiful so top of the round does the joker go is the ace the one that i shot yes yes actually yep he's like, just gonna be like nope fire again oh my god that misses mm. you got pennies, oh boy. yes i do i still got to re-roll that mm-hmm Bang, bang, bang. You fire this guy, catches a bolt in the chest, and like, like gets kind of like you've seen like like movies where people are running and get shot, and they kind of go like Fleh! like full akimbo in the air kind of thing. He does that. He <laughs> falls. That guy is out of the running. It is the other uh, soldier's turn, and he's going to take cover behind a tree. Um, and do wrong dice. He's gonna roll a vigor to a spirit, I should say, to get to see if he's been shaken. Uh, that is a failure. Uh, he's currently behind a tree, so all attacks against him uh, are at a minus two. And then Sailor Hill's like, "Hey, meet my knife." Well, they're 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 dis they're a distance away. They're not super close. You would, you would have to, I'll say, you think if you take two turns. Of movement, shoot you get up to the them. Tree. Shoot the face uh, again. Of the tree so it falls over on top of him. Just constant <laughs> There's... machine gun fire. It'll fall eventually. It's only a minus two, and you don't you 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 have your normal uh, bonus now, so you you don't take the minus two from your failed roll. So just just still a minus two. Still a minus two. And you hit three times last time you had a minus two, so. I still have Apparently, minus two. All right. Still minus two because he's behind cover now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep shooting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll keep shooting. Keep yeah. Shooting. He's gonna oh, be I behind am. life. Oh. Now I start missing. So that's a the mess. one. Yeah, that's a one. And that's a two. Sure. You f keep firing. Uh, I'm gonna get to cover. <clears throat> Sure thing. Yeah, you you stand up. You get to go to cover. Um, you head behind a tree. Um, top of the round, uh, Grigori. Uh, you can now jump in anytime you want again. I have mm, ability that yes, ignores cover. I, I shoot through tree trunk. <laughs> I'll just shoot him. It's fine. I've seen this before in a movie. You shoot it around the, the tree. Yeah, shoot, shoot it. Uh, I'll I'll try to shoot at. Anything poking out from behind the tree, be like your cover Absolutely. means nothing to me, scum. That's still a minus two, but yes. Uh, shoot, I was like, wait, now I gotta do the the roll again. Uh, minus two. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Failure. And now I will take cover behind tree. <laughs> Yeah, you get up, you go behind cover. He's going to roll uh, a spirit to become stable. Uh, he is not able to. Um, Salathil, this guy is cowering behind a tree currently. Oh no, poor baby. He's just hiding, he's not going to do anything. Uh, he doesn't fire at you. Alright. 
I'm a pirate. Him. Um, how far away is he from us? Um, I'm going to use D and D measurements because that's what I'm familiar with. He would be like, sixty feet away from you. So if you spent two turns running, you could get up to him. I want to start running towards him, like kind of trying to get around his cover. So I'm going to move to, you know, flank on one side, uh, move at least sure. thirty feet, and then take another shot. Sure. If you do that, I will give you only a minus one. I'll okay. say. Yeah. Do I have? Uh, does it reduce my amount of shooting from having to move? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. If it does, then I don't know the my not trust any of the rules. Ten. That. That hits. And four? That misses. Nope. Yeah, it misses. Yeah. Four misses. Okay, then 12. Yeah. Two hits. Yeah, two hits. And two I forgot I gave you a minus one for a second. I was like, wait. That's a nine? Oh, God. And an eight. Oh, God. Um, yeah, he's dead. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you go up your side. Boom, boom. Two shots. Um... He falls down. The guy's fucking ripping through these guys. Jesus. Uh, and then I will recall the cards. They don't call um, me the penetrator for nothing. <laughs> the penetrator. Wait, wait, Oof. no, not wait, no, not them. This is terrible. Vlad the Impaler. No, that's even worse. The, uh, check the bodies for stuff. Let's get out of here. <laughs> if you check all the bodies, um. You are able to find uh, some spare ammo. Um, I don't know if you guys actually use the same ammo. Uh, it's rifle ammo, so I'm not. But I'm not sure if you use the same ammo for. Um, what the hell? All right, so that isn't working anymore. Uh, good to know. Uh, sorry, I'm just backing out of roll twenty for a second because it stopped working. I can open up any uh, character sheets. Um, yeah, check the bodies. There is rifle ammunition. Um, does your, um, gun say what type of, uh, ammo it carries? Um, Grigori? Uh, 762 for my sniper, then the Walter, the, the little handguns we got, and the MP40s will take 9mm. Wait. Oops. Uh, let me just go up, up to find... Let me just pull that up. There we go. Um, so they have the car ninety. Uh, what is uh? It's a seven point what? Uh, seven point six two for the oh, sniper okay. rifle. Yeah. Uh, they have car ninety eights. Uh, and theirs are seven point nine two. So wonderful. Um, yeah, uh, you can take, also they have their, their handguns, they have the same handguns, you guys, uh, I believe it's 9 millimeters. yep, 9 millimeter. Um, yeah, so the, they actually have Lugers, um, but, uh, they have the same ammunition, so you can take about, put it into your own clips. Um, Excellent. and, uh, let's see, one, two, three, I'm gonna say the three guys that got blown up don't have grenades. I'll say those are pretty much useless at this point. Uh, but the three other guys each have two grenades. Oh hell yeah. Here, take those. Grenades. Grenadas. Grenados. Grenadine. Grenadine. Fuck grenadine. God damn grenadine. Gets in your hands, it's fucking sticky as shit. So How sticky. else are we gonna make a Roy Rogers? I mean, I don't. I make, I make Caesars. You guys know, is that a Canadian thing? Caesars? Never heard of it. Uh, it is vodka, pickle juice, Worcestershire sauce. Oh, um, you lost me a pickle juice. Uh, you had me a pickle juice. Let's then go. Clamato juice. Yeah. Are you guys familiar with the Clamato? Yeah, I am. I is. It is. It is. I'm it is tomato up juice. Cocktail here, yeah. It is. It is tomato juice mixed with clam brine. Yeah, no, this is, this. it says primarily in Canada, and I can see why. Yeah. Uh, it also has, it's actually apparently very, very good. I've never tried one. It has, like, hot sauce. It's apparently good. 
Yeah, this says no, I want to try vodka, Caesar mix, hot sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Bring Worcestershire. Bring on the Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Have, you ever come, have you ever come down to fucking wherever you guys are? I think this is. I'll make you guys some some Caesars. We'll try them out. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'll drink. I'll drink. I'll make three, and if you guys don't like them, I'll drink all three. That's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys ready for some clam busy. brine? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what's come out of. It's fucking tomato and clam. It's the weirdest combination. I love it. Somebody, just somebody somewhere was cold. like, "What if we just drink the juice that comes out of this clam?" And it's like, nah. Nah, it's, it's and it's and it's in the tomato juice aisle along with V8 and all kinds of other stuff. Yeah, yeah it's sure it's is. it's the same thing. It's it's like it's like it's uh, the the it's like this, vinegar. It's a vinegar that you this, this preserve clam. Out with. And squeeze out its its juices into this tomato, and then squeeze out the juices in it. I don't know. That's how that's how all stuff works. Somebody somewhere was like, "What if I just." eat this random fucking thing and see if I don't die. <laughs> Didn't die. Didn't um, die. Kind of delish. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some Caesars. Um, apparently I make mean Caesar. Uh, it's, it's, it's essentially a Bloody Mary. It's, um, sort of can as Bloody Mary. Um, yeah, you guys collect uh, any ammunition or and grenades and weapons you want from these guys. Um, and head do you guys head back or do you wait a little bit longer because you don't know if any people are coming we'll probably head back in the direction of the garrison so because if anyone's going to be coming from like town come in that direction you guys can keep me out so yeah so both of you guys roll stealth and notice checks just for your characters to see if you guys do I'm so stealthy boop boop hey Beautiful. Um, you guys continue on, um, unbeknownst to you that you guys are actually fine. Um, Salith Hill, you meet up with Oliver, who is, in fact, wounded. You mean Tom Shear? Yes. I'm so sorry. You're fine. I still feel bad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not offended. I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't give a shit what you think. <laughs> She's um, like, I'm not offended. Has been taking notes about how to sabotage your next game. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, like, just, like, step up behind him because I don't know if he's done tying. He's probably done tying this guy up. And, yeah, he um, is. And I, and I just say, why are you keeping him alive? Uh... He surrendered. You have a code? I mean... I just... Get his hands up. What would, would, would you expect me to do? I don't expect anything. Okay. It Let's... Is, uh, I am... I'm not asking out of judgment. More curiosity. Okay. Let me see your wound. Yeah, he's been... You can see that he was slashed by his own knife. By his own knife. Yeah, it's a whole thing. It's right on the ground. He kind of did the same thing you guys were doing. You, you and the other guy were doing. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, when I make a healing roll, that doesn't... Does that heal a wound as a skill? Uh, it makes it... Uh, you stabilize the wound. But he still has the wound has the wound but um essentially he can make a healing check um in i think a week yeah you're going to need to um be at your best and i will it's still within the golden hour so i'm going to channel some magic and heal him roll your check yes um that should have a plus two to it because i have a thingy yeah, he repairs on the. Uh... So it'd be a thirteen. 13. Um, it'll take it'll take a minus one for to back to a twelve. Um, but that's enough. Uh, his wound closes, 
and yes, uh, you uh, his wound is closed. He's he's okay. Um, and you guys essentially just wait uh, for your friends to return. And you guys do head back to the city. You uncover, you find uh, one stabbed guy, another dude who's also stabbed, and actually, um, okay, um, uh, Oliver, as you guys wait, takes the guy into like the the mess hall and actually tends to his wounds, uh, and so he's now stabilized. The the, the other guard, so he's not going to bleed out. Um, but is is severely wounded. Has a two has a two wounds, um, and probably incapacited for the uh, foreseeable future. Uh, Salafil and Grigori, you return to the village. Um, you find uh, the the garrison unguarded, but a body. There's a dead body on the ground. Should probably get that inside. Uh, Tanchi would have. Yeah, the body is, is, is moved. So you guys approach the garrison. You do not hear uh, any soldiers. You don't hear. Um, yeah, Important you don't. Important question, Tan. Are you juicing this man to store his blood for later? Can I do that? <laughs> Dead guy? Yeah. Roll, uh, roll spell casting check. It's cool, so I don't want to say no, but I want to. I, I don't. Can want I to squeeze this guy dry like oranges? Or can you cries. juice this man? Juice can, this man. I, can I? Can I? Uh, can I do it um, after I drag his body out of sight? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And is it really a war crime? I mean, he's. You're desecrating a corpse. Yes, it is. <laughs> look, look. Yep. This this is war. The crimes have not been established yet because the war is not over. That's Sorry. not how war crimes work, but okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> I I won't. <laughs> these are these are just acts of war. It's fine. It's the war crime committed before the war can start. Um, I, the war I is mean, going on. Geneva ongoing. Convention doesn't exist because well, there is no this Geneva. Is, <laughs> exactly. This is, see, uh, this is this is a, this is about learning. It's it's uh, you know you. Spend yeah, it's for the hours. sake of science. It's, it's, now no, juice that human being. No war crimes have been committed in the name of science. <laughs> okay. Bye. I I will it say you are, a, you are able to suck out a one power point from him um and you you have holding in kind of like floating in your hand a ball of blood cool. i uh make what? a little bracelet of it underneath my clothing what what you got sure there thing. you're not here for that <laughs> this is before you guys arrived oh, okay. yeah we don't we don't get the smoothie line you don't get the yeah all right yeah um yeah you commit a war crime. Uh, you desecrate a body, Not and I think all. Uh, I also think. I mean, World War Two is full of a bunch of sciencey war crimes. It's all I'm going to say. Full of, World War Two is full of science. Full of Look, science. Full of science. There's, there's there's a difference between between torturing live people and and studying cadavers. That is true, but sucking the blood out of someone and keeping it as a trophy totally a war crime. Oh, no, no, not a trophy. She's. I, I could like you're stocking it up like water bending. Yeah, you just keep it there. Desecrating the corpse of a, of an enemy combatant who did not consent to be experimented on is a war crime. That's I am fair. going he, to lay down the law. He 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 laid down his life for this war. Nope. Yes, technically, but okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, she just you've committed. Him. I give my consent. You've submitted. A, you've committed a lot of war crimes in this campaign. We're not getting stuck on on which one. Um, which one this is. <laughs> um, your friends return to the tent to the garrison. Uh, Salathil and Grigori, you you can enter one of the tents if you wish. I do not you wish. Yeah, well, I find it's good. Gonna... <laughs> Yeah, yeah in one tense, uh, you see a soldier currently laid out, uh, with like a jacket under his sort of under his head, with his arms tied, clearly unconscious. Um, and Oliver over in the makeshift kitchen, uh, you see that his clothing stained with blood, 
Um, he's removed his his jacket and has like rolled up his like uh, his shirt and is currently cooking something in the little kitchen. He walk in and goes, "Hello." You look like hell. What happened to you? Stabbed a guy. What about you? Also stabbed a guy. Hey, look at that. Um, shot so. a lot. Of oh, very good. That's your job. Uh, so the garrison is ours. Congratulations, us. Excellent. I'm making more spam. Excellent. I could go for some spam after murder. Sure. The, the best meal after dark. Um, yeah, so he continues to make some food. Um, he, he, uh, as he, he has to do anything while he cooks. Uh, how did things go here for you all? Stepping back inside. Uh, I sabotaged their uh, radio so no one could signal for reinforcements. And uh, I have located uh, a crate of grenades, 10 of them, uh, two more panzers, some spare ammo. There's a, there is a big fucking machine gun. And a mortar. Well, you know what is good mortar. for stopping big fucking machine guns? Mortar. Hands are fast. And a mortar, yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh hang on, wait a minute. Oh yes, we have ideas. <laughs> oh, and there's a, uh, there's a uh, vehicle if you wish to, um, if we wish to uh, put these in and drive off with them. One of those big rat packs. Uh, rat packs. The mortar will definitely be useful. Uh, big guns and other things. We could set up uh, stuff as we go up to... If we get people out of there, they can, you know, get weaponry to fight anything chasing. Or to kill... Uh, the people there in base in retaliation. You mean you want to arm the uh, prisoners, prisoners inside? Oh, that would be hilarious! Turning to yes. the people's rage against the enemy, and then uh, they suddenly find themselves outnumbered. They would be within their best interest to surrender. Do you know what is rebellion? Exactly. Many of these, these those scouting people that like to pick them off, you know what is not really good for big scout tower? Panzerfaust. Mm -hmm. If people are armed and you get rid of advantage, they will have no choice but to surrender or die. And there will be a lot of angry prisoners that will probably help them with second. So, uh, I take it we are riding this uh, rat back in, loaded up with weapons. Yes. Well, you want it to be on your side, Oliver, so that you could use it to get away if need be? Talking to... sorry, on my brain. It's oh, Oliver. Um, <laughs> repeat that, it's getting... It's getting... Do you, do you want the rat back on your side so that if when you need to run away you have good escape vehicle? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind having that if you don't if you if you're okay with Sharon. Of course, and also we could set mortar up on uh, you know you could set mortar up there where you will be instead of dynamite. Now you can just blow giant hole in things. I can blow giant hole in things, yeah take out one of the towers at least which would definitely stir the nest of hornets hmm yeah uh... you are talking about leaving uh, leaving someone outside to attack from the outside while 
Mm -hmm. That was going to be that was going to be plan was Oliver here would distract the guard with dynamite and then we sneak in, find out what's going on, try to get them out if possible. Now we can sneak in, find out what's going on, give them gun, and let hell be unleashed there. Alright. Yeah, I could do that for sure. Um, oh, try for sure. Mm -hmm. um, we have the extra weapons from the from the guys uh, and, and prisoners comes out. Yeah, it's we could. Mm. If that's what you guys think, which I think you should, I should keep some guns and help arm any prisoners that come out. I'll do that. Yeah. So, after a quick meal, you guys are ready to do this, or do you want to? Anything you guys want to do before that? Mm, how are we sneaking inside? Are we using the rat, the rat back, and the uniforms to pose? Mm -hmm. That was the plan. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, right. If I am to uh, cast more magic, um, I'm going to be pushing my limit. Well, we could always wait another day. We just eliminated the garrison. I'd be worried about people checking out. Mm -hmm. We don't it's... have we don't have time to really delay this for very long. If anyone from the research facility come here for supplies to check in on anyone, it would just be in so much trouble. Poor thing. All right, boys and girls, get changed. I guess. All right. Yep. Changed. Everyone gets changed uh, into uh, whatever uniform uh, uh, they are using. Um, and uh, Oliver does not change into any uniform. He's going to be hiding in some trees with a sniper rifle. Yeah, he's uh -huh. injured. Just, and, just stay over there. Hmm. Yeah, he's not injured. Actually, he's fine. Oh, he's fine now. Okay. Yeah, he got Ta healed. Ta healed. Oh, I remember the thing where he has to do a check in a week, but okay. No, uh, she healed him using magic, so he is he lost the wound. If she did like just a medicine, just a healing check, he would be stabilized. Have to make a check in a week, but no, he's okay. Um, and you guys pile into the rat back. Uh, you guys help each other, and you load the um. Excuse me. You load the mortar and you take the machine gun as an MG forty two. A little background on the MG forty two, as in stats. Uh, it is 2d8 damage per round. It has a rate of fire of four. Um, so it takes, you can have four shots per round. Um, it weighs 25 pounds, so it's big. And it's 50 shots. Uh, also, you have to have at least the strength of a d8 to be able to use it. <laughs> well, no. So I'm not sure if anyone of you has a d8 for strength. Everyone looks no. super gory. Nope. Okay. Nope, Gory's not strong. Um, <clears throat> that is that is like to carry it. So if you if you have it set up on the works, like say if you mount it on the rat back. You know who we um, should have brought? The wolf boy. The <laughs> wolf man? Uh, he's doing other shit. You don't know he's what he's up. You don't know what he's up to. I'm sure yeah, yeah, he's pulling up a bridge. Um, Probably. Yeah, oh he is. <laughs> um, I mean we we I'm sure there's I'm sure there's uh some uh very very strapping buff prisoners on the inside fully willing to lay into these um, the people who force them to work on whatever they're working on. Sure. Uh, there might be. Um, also, uh, mechanical question. How do PowerPoints come back? Because I, I saw that there's like the, the quick recovery thing. 
do power, do I get like one PowerPoint every hour normally? Uh oh, let me look at your your shit. Um, like, so second. Can... The fast recovery and then the improved fast recovery is like you recover in thirty minutes, you recover in fifteen minutes. Do you have fast recovery? No, which is why I'm wondering like if the standard recovery is is one hour, like one PowerPoint per hour. Uh, let me look up how fast that recovery is. I was just assumed it was. I spelt that word wrong. There we go. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, rapid reach. Edge allows Arcane to gain one power point every 30 minutes. Okay. Um, uh... All right, let me just find this PowerPoint. thing. Fantastic. That's great. Uh, good to know. I recover in this, in this duration? How many hours have it been? Uh, well, I said it was about half a day's drive. So, I'll, I'll see. Uh, I will give it not to 12, but 8. Like, half a day, like, about 8 hours. So, you can cover, you can cover 8. Oh. I spoke too soon, so. and I should be fine. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You begin to recover. You can feel your uh, arcane prowess start to come back to you as you approach the uh, the building. Uh, you guys give. So you guys let um, uh, Oliver take the rat back, or do you guys approach on foot, or do you guys take the rat back right up to the gate? Hmm. I heard both. I, I've have, heard both. We do have another vehicle, though, too. You do have the truck, yes. Um, and so if you want to give uh, him the truck, he'll take the truck. Okay. Sure. Also, um, he he wants to take the mortar. Is, do you let him take the mortar? Sure. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yes. He takes the mortar, the remaining, uh, the two six dynamite, or three. Did you give him two or three? Uh, we'll give him two. Give him two? Sure thing. Um, so, yeah, um, he will go and, uh, set up, um, his, uh, his thing over somewhere else. Uh, what do the rest of you, you guys get into the, to the rat back and you guys drive up to the front gate and try to get in? Yeah. Sure thing. I'm wearing. I'm gonna. We're pretty well disguised, yeah. and we yeah. have IDs and. You have IDs. Uniforms. Faces. And uniforms. Are... You're both elves. Sailfil is a little is a, is part drow. Yeah, I'll be. Um, so yeah, you drive up. Um, and I just keep my face hidden. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's a mountain. It's getting later in the year. It's it, it's cold. So you have like. Like scarves on, um, you have the helmets, so it's, it, it is it's sort of the flared uh, base, so you guys can only really see your eyes if you cover up pretty well. Um, and you drive up, one of the soldiers raises their hand uh, to stop you, um, and walks around um, and looks at you, Sailorphil. Um, and here's the question: I have, a, I have a question for you. Does Sailorphil speak Undercommon? Or drowish. I think she did. I think I did because I, I had spoken with um, 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 I have his name written down, but we haven't talked about him in a while. Where are my notes? I, I... was it your boy? Was it the the Thorn. guy? Thorn. That you seduced? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I think I think we established that while she was tricking Sorn that she did speak. Absolutely. Yeah, um, I remember that. Um, I trust you to be honest with me. Like I said, I, I think we established that because uh, yeah. languages had been brought up once before and I we talked about where do we determine that and where does it go? How do we figure out what languages we know? And I think the establishment of her interactions with Sword was that she spoke Drow. Absolutely. And yeah, because yeah, there wasn't like a language thing, I think, when you were making So you're like, oh, it, we're, it's just assumed that she speaks it since she's half Drow anyway. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you approach... Um, sorry, my ear of the G. You approach the gate, the gate stop, he comes up to you, and in undercommon, uh, he says, um, uh, he says, well, we were not ex- expecting any sort of delivery or reinforcements, so why are you here? Surprise inspection. It wouldn't be a surprise if you knew about it. Get out. I actually really like that. <laughs> you want to use it? I, I kind of do. Surprise inspection. Sure. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Yeah. I'm, I'm pulling. God I'm damn pulling it, guys. Don't, from, uh, don't do this to me from, today. Uh, uh, it's so low. <laughs> Four. Four? Okay. Do we get a bonus? We already have a plus two in it, so that yeah. is. Can I can I spend a Benny to make a reroll? <laughs> How many do you have left? I've got two. Gee, I really okay, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll let you I'll let you waste some resources. I appreciate that because it's a twelve. <laughs> twelve. Um, yeah, he looks at you up and down, um, uh, and says, it, of, "Of course, uh, we just have to uh, check the um the the." the, the your vehicle. You don't need to check my vehicle. And she just waves a hand in front of him. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you get off that 12. But motherfucker. He just kind of was like, oh, okay. Um, uh, and he sort of like raises his hand and like makes a motion. Uh, and the, the uh, gate opens, allowing you to enter the compound. Mm-hmm. Wasn't, I was... I, I'll be honest, I expect you guys to get, like, a bolt cutter and go through the chain-link fence and, like, sneak across the ground. Zayla Bill just exhales once we start driving. She's like, I can't believe that fucking worked. <laughs> I didn't there, there, is, yeah. there is a true story of a man uh, in, I th- in, I think it was Czechoslovakia during World War II who figured out that because he was a tall blonde guy that if he talked loud enough and angrily enough Nazis listened to him and he used his power to save million uh thousands of Czechoslovakian Jews' life Excellent. lives. Yeah, he, um, it's very much the, doing. It, it's the fake it till you make it mentality. Yeah, it's absolutely he, he he absolutely faked it till you make it uh and and to save lives during the Holocaust. He was an amazing person. I'll look up his name. He was fantastic. Um uh, made fake passports and just handed it to random Jews like, take these, take these, take these, go to Sweden. Um, Switzerland. Um, yeah, it was great. Anyways, so yeah, you go through the gate. Um, you begin to approach um, the uh, the second gate. Um, and as you do, uh, no guard stops you. No guard like steps in front of your car. They kind of like observe you, kind of look at you. Uh, and they're going to roll notice checks. Um, okay. It has corpse explosion. It has what? Corpse explosion. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you do have that power. Oh, no, that's a real thing. thing. Oh, that's no. a real thing. I'm pretty sure you can make a corpse. I think. Or it could just be sound like it is. Um, oh, my God. I probably could do that. Uh, maybe. I think it sounds right. It doesn't matter. Um, so what you're saying is we need to just drag a body up long streets. <laughs> just yeah. throw a corpse at a guy. And explode. it. Anyways, you drive up. You kind of look, they both kind of look at you. Um, the gate opens again because you got way through the first gate. I wasn't expecting this. Um, and yeah, you now approach uh, the this large compound. Um, and there are the large doors. There is a guard in front of that door. Um, and he sort of looks at you all and says. Um, Grigori, do you get off the, the vehicle at this point? Uh, 
I'm sure, like, yeah, at some point, once they, they like, get to a part that, that they can park and he can just kind of Metal Gear Solid his way out of there to get to the... Sure, roll, roll stealth check, then, if I want to see park. This is wild. This is wild. Five? Okay. Um, you slither your way out of the... Um, of the, the the truck, uh, the, the the rat pack, and you get underneath of it, uh, and sort of crawl your way up. So the guard in front of the doors, the main doors, stop you and says, uh, "And why are you here? You wave through, yes." Is that to us? Sorry. Yes, that's that's to you guys. That, that's to the two who are talking. Yeah. Oh, we're heading in for an inspection. Surprise inspection. Present uniforms. Sure. Roll a uh, persuasion check. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm checking to make sure his uniform is up to snuff. And I'm looking sure. really intimidating while doing it. Another fucking huh? four. These dice, god four. damn it. Um, you, don't do it. No, no. It, four is a success. You don't okay. need to do four it. Is, four is, an, is a success. Um, and also, they keep being shit. <laughs> also, you you got waved through the you got, you got through. No one stopped you. No one shouted anything. So a fork is uh is is it's pretty good. Um, you sort of inspect his uniform, kind of look look over. He kind of like kind of stands a little bit straighter and it's just like, fuck. Um, and as you do that, um, as you guys were driving up, um, I'll say that Oliver went ahead of you guys. Um. Uh, got the truck as close as he could um, uh, and went up to the top of the ridge, set up some uh, set the little ridge that you, you guys were um, looking at, you and Grigori set up some dynamite um, and uh, is currently looking through his sniper uh, rifle scope uh, and he sees you intimidating, intimidating a guy um, trying to talk to him um and then he sort of his his scope moves over to one of the the closest sniper in the, one of the towers, who is sort of watching that that, that that sniper is watching you guys not through his rifle but kind of like looking at what's going on. Um, uh, the man says, uh, "Very well. Um, uh, I guess you wish to inspect the interior as well." Yes, yes, I do. Show us no, the way. Okay. Um, he takes out a large set of keys. Um, unlocks the door um, and like grabs it and has to like really like lean into it and pull these apart. Um, pull, uh, pull the door open. It is it is a very very strong door. Um, uh, and leads you uh, inside. Uh, and he closes the door after you. Uh, and as the door closes. Um, Excellent. Uh, let me just pull up a character sheet. Here it is. It's loading. Annoying. <clears throat> okay. Um, a gunshot cracks out as one of the snipers takes a bullet to the shoulder. Uh, as the um, as the distraction begins outside, um, the door closes. Um, shots start to ring out, uh, but for the for for uh, for a little bit, uh, you guys are inside and they are unaware of what's going on outside. As soon as the door closes, you can't hear anything out there. You notice that that the walls are very thick. The guard didn't seem to notice either. Uh, the door's closed. There's no, you can't hear the outside. And, oh, okay. He's on the outside, are... not with us. Yeah, yeah. The, well, one guard that led, led you inside and is going to show you around. Okay, so we have one guard um, with us and the others are out. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to know. Okay. Yes, excellent. And um, I'm just playing the silent observer because I don't speak under common. Uh, sure. So I'm just the quiet blood mage. If I have to intimidate someone, I'll make the blood tingle. <laughs> sure. Grigori, uh, you slipped in after after them, I'll say. The door opened. Um, you're able to get inside um, before the door closed. Um, and he's going to show you guys around. Um, he inspected your, your, your badges, and I think you guys had you guys be like, like sort of 
some sort like you know, guys aren't like upper echelon but like um a little bit of authority um and so he begins to show you around uh, i need all three of you to roll a uh notice check 16. Yeah, Wonderful. Gugori? Six. Six. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you guys uh, looking around, a lot of things you see, like um, these these drow scientists um, uh, have, like, these, like, semi, like, like, disassembled weapons sort of on stands, and they, like, stand behind, like, a wall with a string and pull the trigger and see if it explodes or fires properly. Um, some other things, some, um, like, uh, some, chemi uh, some, some chemical stuff that's not really explained to you. It's like, oh, there's, like, some, some ideas. Um, and it brings you around, or, or, uh, sort of around for a little bit um, until uh, an alarm starts going off. Uh, a red light, you, you, it's, it's sort of that, that classic spinning red light goes off. Um, and he kind of like looks up and says, uh, please uh, remain here. Everything's under control. Um, and we'll uh, run off back towards the um, the entrance. And a lot of the researchers here start to sort of panic and sort of filter out of their labs um, and head, in, head off in a similar direction as, uh, as each other. We need to find the prisoners and see what else they are working on here. Sure. With those notice checks, um, if you guys begin to walk around fairly easily, a lot of the soldiers, um, the guards here, have sort of left to go into the outside, see what's happening. Um, and as one of them opens the door, you hear like an explosion, uh, and you, uh, Salafil, you know that's the sound of a mortar going off. <laughs> um, so he's popping in the truck, just like dropping mortars, and it's clunk, and just like, and boom, hope that hits something. <laughs> um, he's not an he's not an expert in mortars, he's a spy, he's not a soldier. Well, he um, wanted the mortars, he's having fun. He knows how to use them, he just like he doesn't know how to aim them very well. <laughs> Usually it's you need a second person to do that anyway. Yeah, he's just trying to, like, make things explode. <laughs> <laughs> he's not worried about what he hits, just as long as no. it hits. <sighs> no, it hits something. Um, all ground person. It's, it's mm -hmm. all good. Prisoners are inside. Uh, and we have to look around. Um, and with that, I will say with that 16, um, Seattlefil, um you are able to notice something a little strange as you're sort of uh, looking through for prisoners. Again, you saw um, uh, prison transports sent to here. You saw a bunch of materials being sent to here. Um, and while this, this is a fairly large, um, large facility as you walk around, you don't see prisoners. You don't see any sort of forced labor here. Um, you would assume the forced labor would be if like outside, because like that's where a bunch of open space are. You can have people build things and working on things. Um, but it's not. Um, and but you're able to notice as you um, sort of head down what looks like a path to like a storage closet of some kind. Um, very subtly, carved into one of the walls, um, like probably by like like v very, probably by magic. It's probably by magic. Is a small symbol that is drawn uh, that is carved into one of the walls. Um, and it's definitely arcane in nature. Definitely an arcane symbol. Well, this is my wheelhouse. Yes, I please. Will cast uh... Detect magic? Yes. Roll detect magic. That's a f that's that's a success. Uh it is a sigil of um of some kind. It requires uh blood to to, to utilize blood. specifically a certain either a certain person's blood or a certain group of people's blood this is a, a lot 
to Thor requires certain blood, a certain person, or certain person's blood to unlock. Mm-hmm. That is uh, oddly specific. Do you not have a way to bypass such a thing? Possibly. Um, I don't Perhaps with a copious amount of blood similar to what they require? Uh, I you, th- you would think that it's probably not like dark elf blood, but it's like an officer's, like some people's blood has been taken and then encoded into the spell. So, sir, so it could be like an, like a one officer, or it could be like a, a head researcher or a group so of researchers. It won't, it won't just recognize dark. Now it's blood. it's not drow blood. It's like it's a lock. It's a people. Some people have the key. Darn, the key to I was hoping Todd would be like, it just so happens I have a bunch of blood right here. <laughs> no, uh, so you probably have to find someone who's important. We need to find someone who's important. Well, good. Most of those people just left. Well, this is the research station, and if all the researchers Forget didn't us. run to the didn't run to the en- entrance, they ran deeper into the facility, probably yeah. to a safe room. Let's go find them. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, we can uh, we can just start like collecting blood into a cooler, and we'll just throw it into the wall and see what <laughs> sticks. <laughs> let's just scra- let's just get the one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, the one. You, who let's the try most your important. blood. Your blood didn't work. Bring the next one. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's probably weird, less weird things in drow society. Um, just, just ask, yeah. you know, Also a great intimidation tactic. You try it, the blood doesn't be like, we'll keep bleeding all of you until you can find, until you tell me which one opens this door. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Hopefully yeah. you, so, can, you, can, you can word them into uh, doing as you say. I do, I do do words. You do do words. You, you head I, over to... Well. Um, so well. An area near the middle of the compound. Um, as you enter, you see that like, uh, this, it's pretty reinforced. It's probably a safe room for the, for the non-combatant staff. Inside, there is a single guard um, who is scary as fuck. Um, he's oh, prob- he's taller He's taller than Grigori. Um, you cannot see his face. He's, uh, he has like a metal plate, like a metal like ballistic mask over his face. Um, large armor. Um, like these big metal plates on his chest, on his arms, um, and is holding a uh, a machine gun uh, like a rifle in his arms. Um, and he stands unmoving, not saying a single thing, just looking around. Um, um I and forgot. S- mm-hmm. Um, I said I was going to cast the or recast the deflection. Am I able to do that? Because. I said I was gonna do it. And sure. Yeah, you can roll, roll, your, roll your stuff. All right. Did to save at least one for your Arcana there? Yeah, I, I got, yeah. I got a good chunk. Two. Success. Three. Success. Success. Four. All right. Did you get two same rolls? You yes, did. did. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Um. So it's yeah, minus four, said. Is unfortunately, but. Yeah, minus two. It yeah, still it's works. Still great. Cool. Um, so yeah, you see this big guy, and you see uh, painted on the the front chest, like kind of over the, over where the the heart is, um, is the sort of side profile of a wolf. You're assuming this is one of the Volk. The fuck are they doing here? Mm-hmm. Just one of them standing there, not moving, um, not saying anything. Um, standing standing in the corner. As he walks in, he sort of looks at all of you. Um, doesn't salute, doesn't move, just sort of watches. Okay, I bet you it's him. Uh, you roll a d6, just a, just a flat d6 for general sort of knowledge as you sort of One. researching. Okay, good. Um, Roll that's a full purity test. I think it's him. Yeah, two. Two. That's a two. Where's Grigory? Grigory, try. You roll a d6. See what you get. God damn. Wait. He's just uh, you... like standing behind the guard following his move. <laughs> he's like, do, do, do. He's bigger than me. He cannot see me. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're. You have one you're... last Benny, and we're about to. We're about to end, so yeah, you guys, you guys can use. I'll let you do. If you want to try? I'll let you spend your last Benny. I mean, we're over time, so. 
Are we over time? Okay. Yeah. Four. Four. Excellent. Uh, pro Are we over honestly, uh, we're getting close uh, to it. We're getting. Eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes. Yes. Um, you think he's probably not the Volk, actually. Um, the Volk are powerful, um, and dangerous. They're not leaders. Whatever they do to the Volk to make them what they are, because they are augmented, does remove a little bit. Like, he's super stiff and weird and, and scary. He's probably not in charge. He's probably a bodyguard or like a guard for, for this place. Then I just whisper, supercharged bodyguard, not our one, not our guy. Oh, well, okay then. Yeah, this is a general knowledge check, but I want to give you guys. You guys, you guys have been researching the Volk for a while, and you sort of have good information on the structure of the society. We enter this group of researchers. Um, they'll kind of look at you um, as you enter. These soldiers not going to fight. Um, what do you say? Hello. We need your blood. Get in an orderly line and start slitting your wrist and emptying it into the bucket. That is not what I tell them. Okay. <laughs> I, I do step in with an air of authority and I say, surprise inspection. Please gather yourselves in an orderly fashion. Pay no attention to the demonstration going outside. It is a war game efforts and it is none of your concern. Roll the persuasion check. Open the door or die. Eight. An eight. Okay. Um, the the researchers seem a little calmer as you come in. Um, one does sort of approach you, uh, a woman. Um, this uh sort of uh the same like very bright white hair, um that has been cut pretty short. Stand as you approaches and says. Well, I guess if it is surprise inspection, I'd... it could happen any time, even during an exercise. Um, it is good to meet you. I am the uh, head researcher here. She sends her hand to you. And I shake it and I say, um, introductions are in order then. What is your name? Uh, boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. I'm stalling. That's um, it. I have to make up a fake name too. Beautiful. Here, I'll give you some inspiration. Um, it says uh, Vakra. P. Tier Griffin. <laughs> P. Tier. <laughs> Say, Lee, Phil. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name is Vakra. Yeah, that's what I used. Yeah, FancyNameGenerator.com, Dark Elf Fancy Names, name dot Let's go. PHP. Oh, these are terrible. Okay, next one. Um, these all suck. Oh, these all suck. Me. They're just throwing random letters together. All right. I mean, I, how do you think I got Galniza and Vakra? Basically, but those sound good. Um, I am in... Uh, I'm going to say Captain because I'm assuming like I either have sure. something that uh, makes the iconography look at least resemblable or something of an officer status, and I'm just like I am. I am. No, I'm not going to give a rank because if if it turns out that the uniform doesn't match that for whatever reason that we didn't establish early, I don't want them to be like. That's not what your uniform says. That's a private uniform. Um, so I'm just going to say, I am Inspector Pizre. Yep. He says, um, well, it is good to meet you. I wish it was under calmer circumstances. And she sort of looks up at, like, the ceiling um, and the red lights blaring. Yeah. Um, just says, completely un unfazed by, like, probably another explosion. And she says... Does it make you nervous? Do you have yes. a reason to be nervous besides this demonstration that is uh, a planned and definitely non-lethal exercise between the soldiers? Well, um, 
the there are there's plenty of sensitive uh, equipment here in the laboratory. Uh, I would rather not be ruined by the explosions outside. Our escort, the our escort had stepped away, and they said that you would be the one who could show us through the rest of the facility, uh, specifically on your experiments. Your fellow researchers can stay here until the exercise is over, and once we are finished, you can be returned to them unharmed. Do not worry about that. As I said, it is only a surprise inspection, and it is war games outside. I, I am very much playing on her like worry and trying yeah. to make it be like you're not going to be harmed if you cooperate, you know, in that kind sure. of drow fashion. It's yeah. Like, hey, we're we're on the same team. You would sure. Like, give us a reason to hurt you. Um, she says very well. Everyone remained here. Um, Volgan and she looks at the Volk. Says, remain with uh, the rest of the team. And Volgan just sort of nods. Um, John, John. Uh, and she will leave with you because there's no reason not to trust you. Um, do you, I assume you lead her back to the to the sigil? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. You guys have to talk. Um, and she has to lead you around. She, she has like, I was like, oh, where have you not seen to go oh, over here? And you lead her to this place. And she, uh, roll a notice check. All of you. Uh, oh, three! Jesus Christ! There he is. Well, um, Gregory and Tan, you notice that as you approach the um, this the, this area, uh, she becomes visibly nervous. Like before, she was she's kind of like there's explosions going outside, and she's not a soldier, so like that is like shocking to her system, so she's kind of like freaked out. Uh, but as you approach this place, you can see like like a little bit of sweat drip drip down. She kind of like her eyes kind of dart a little bit more than than as usual. Is something wrong? Uh, no, everything is all right. Uh, this is just this is just a just cleaning supplies over here. There's no labato- labatori- uh, uh, laboratories. There are the bathrooms. If you need to relieve yourself, I want to position myself behind her. Sure. And I will say, if there is nothing here, then you should not be worried. And I want to slice her throat. Ah, okay, cool. Roll a fight. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, it's a four. <laughs> That's it. Um, she has a toughness of two. She is a not a soldier. She's not a fighter. Um, That's a D4 plus your strength. Nice. Uh, so two D4 before yeah <laughs> perfect uh, those, those explode <gasps> they sure do <laughs> they do explode they both explode yeah one more <laughs> oh god <laughs> this poor woman yes. uh eight that is 15 16 seven. yeah that's more than <laughs> enough you just slice her throat open and okay. she grabs her neck and begins to f- it falls uh, over I, and just uh, fucking uh, dies <laughs> I, I, I want I wanted the spray to be aimed for the, the sigil. absolutely you do that um, the sigil lights up you hear the uh, there's a slight uh, grinding of stone against stone as the door moves uh, and there is a tunnel downwards and in that classic rev- like secret tunnel reveal thing you hear the <laughs> as the lights turn on. As you just as it descends deeper into the facility, um, I will explain what you see as you as you go down. So you go down. Um, is there any you have blood to left sort of, over for me? I'm sure there you, is. Th- yeah, there is. She is she is <laughs> dying. So if you want to roll an Arcana, uh, uh, the just, like, back, bring track. the blood up like um, she's a clean up crew. Just... <laughs> I'm I'm gonna kneel down, and I think I think this actually does play into the pacifist thing, because um, uh, being a minor pacifist, um, yeah. I don't I I don't let people suffer. So yeah, absolutely. I just you kneel can... down, put a hand over, and I'm going to. Um, sanguinate her? Huh? Sanguinate her? 
Yeah, and I'm gonna do. I want to do it subtly. I don't, I don't want to be noticed yet. Yeah. Gregory, you can just come out. Gregory comes out of hiding at this point because you killed the only person around, uh, and you two of you go, two of you, two of them enter the the place, and you can, like, like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, it's a person who's dying. You're you're a pacifist. That, that, that's you, you. You have compassion, and Jesus Christ. Um. So you gain two power points back as you drain her body. I and, and I, I just put her out of her misery. Yeah, and she dies. Um. You descend into the depths of this place the lights turn on uh the the buzz of these of these old 1940s xs lights i would like to also say um i just like lean down and whisper may you find peace with martel sure she, that's some serial killer shit but sure um <laughs> it's that's that's the that's the god i worship goddess i worship i i know uh technically martel is an angel the angel I worship. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. I know, I know, but it's still some serial killer shit. Um, I love it. I do love it. You ascend to the depths, uh, and you see where all the prisoners have gone. As you see, not prison cells, but tanks, as people are floating inside of them. Um, their heartbeat and brain waves being measured. Sailor uh, Tan, you remember how blood mages work. They require thralls in order to be within a certain area. I mean, I was... Did, did Sela, was Selethan told about that? Tan. I, okay. Tan, sorry. I, again, my, my brain. Tan, okay. you, you get remembered, you get remembered that, that that blood mages need thralls. Um, and um, how this. many miles away from uh, the main city is this? Uh, it is more than than thirteen. Okay, so not Galnezas. Probably not Galnezas. Um, but as you sort of pass by, you start to understand why they're sending people who are a little bit smart. Like they're not sending like basic laborers. They're sending people who are smarter. Um, for maybe trying to experiment with like if the thrall is more pow- like smarter or more powerful themselves. And do they get offer more power? As you walk further and further, you see a very large tank at the end of these rows. It's sort of separate from the others. And as you approach and you look up into it, you see a probably seven foot tall purple skinned creature with four tentacles chained and suspended and it opens its eyes and it, you can hear in your brain says your difference. And that's where we're going to end the session. Motherfucking mind flayers. Mind flayers. Sweet, good game. We did. Yay. Kill it with kill it with literal fire. Fuck this. You game over, man. Game throwers. over. <laughs> you do not need a flamethrower. I am flamethrower. That's true. You just boil the water. It's a pot. Look, that's how they did it in the opening cinematic of Baldur's Gate 3. Dragon breath to the uh, tadpole pool. Yeah, you just that boil is true. Home. Yeah, he cooked that shit. Yeah. So you see in front of you a mind flare. A full illithid trapped in a tank. Okay. All right. Well, well <laughs> that's the game, guys. Thanks for... Uh, the game for today, anyways. Thanks yeah. for thanks for watching. <laughs> the That's the game. Mind players. We all got the controlled. And mind over. players are there. Bye bye. <laughs> mind we, players. That's we, we saw a mind player and everybody just fucked out. He's <laughs> like, I'm done with this. I'm going to the Commonwealth. This is not worth it. <laughs> Give me the number of the Gith Yankee. Huh? We will we will take care of this problem. <laughs> In 200 years, send a message to the Gith to come back 200 years and help us. This is bullshit. Uh, anyways, people, are we still, still live? Yeah, we are still live, but uh, we're we're just kind of wrapping up. Thank you, everyone. Right. I know we said that this is over like four times now, but uh, this is really the end. Catch us uh, again on Tuesday for Vampire the Masquerade. We are playing a spot game. It'll be fun. Yeah, all, all that great stuff. Uh, until then, have a great night, everyone, and goodbye. Bye, everyone. I love.